four fifty nine. I'm early. I'm early today. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I'm like one minute early. I can't believe it. I'm never early, but um, here we are. It's four fifty nine p.m. Welcome, everybody. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Basically, simming. There we go. Can you guys hear me? I didn't hear a sound from that. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I didn't hear anything from that. Let me make sure my my headphones are plugged in. Hey guys, welcome, welcome. Let me make sure my speakers are set up right. Hello. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I don't know why we didn't get a sound for the first one. Thank you so much for the follow, Saskatchewanis. <laughs> welcome. Okay, I'm glad you guys can hear me. <laughs> You've been waiting to do that all day. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the sub, basically, Simming. Let me ping the Discord here and let them know I'm going live, and then we are going to jump right into some Sims 3, y'all. Okay, you know what? I got to make sure I have the music turned off. Um, let me see. Let me go to options because we get copyright strikes sometimes, or not copyright strikes, but claims sometimes. Where the heck is the music setting? Oh, we're going to mute music, but we're going to keep everything else on. Okay, and then maybe I should play some music too. Let me just play some music so it's not so, so quiet. You know what I mean? I just feel like it's so quiet when there's no music playing. So give me just a sec here. I got my stream music. We're going to play that with Windows Media Player. There we go. All right, that's better. That's better. Hey, guys. <laughs> you played The Sims for 14 hours today. I've been there so many times. So many times. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're here in the Pleasant household, and Angela is pregnant again. Okay. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. I'm choking. <clears throat> she is a teenager, and she is pregnant for the second time. Um, I don't know. I don't even think she's gotten her first baby bump. Did she get her first one? I don't think so. Or not her, ba not her first baby bump. You know what I mean? Like the little notification that they know they're pregnant. I don't even think she's gotten that yet. She still has nine days until she grows up. So two kids as a teenager, man. I can't even imagine how many kids she's going to pop out in this game. <laughs> we need MTV to follow her around. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> And she wants to have a birthday party for little Georgia. So Georgia is her first little baby girl. And she's going to be aging up today. So it's 6.06 a.m. And we'll, I guess we'll have a little birthday party for her since that's what Angela wants to do. She wants to celebrate her baby aging up. She also wants to get married to Dustin. But I'm trying to wait until they become um, adults or young adults. And then also we have to figure out, oh my god, we only have nine days to decide if they're going to go to college or not. I don't know. She, I guess she could leave the babies here and let Mary Sue and Daniel watch the babies while she went to college. Probably popped out some more babies. <laughs> oh, she does have the Gregnant moodlet. I saw that. Yeah, so she does know. I think I think we did. We got the little notification like right at the end of the last stream. Hey, Bodie. <clears throat> oh, I'm glad. I'm so glad that you're enjoying The Sims 2. I am too. I gotta tell you guys, I am so sick of The Sims 4. I'm like so mad at The Sims 4 right now. I can't even think straight. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm mad at it. Um, but anyway, I've, I have been playing The Sims 4 and I've, I've been working on my gameplay rules and my mods list, the same thing that I did for The Sims 2 and 3. And I'm going to be publishing those soon. And I have found some ways to make The Sims 4 more fun, but I'm just really pissed off at EA basically. Because it's like they're not even trying anymore, y'all. I am feeling better. I'm feeling a lot better. I haven't had any pain today or yesterday, so I guess I passed my kidney stone. I don't know. I don't know if it's still in there or not, but it doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> okay, what is this? Lost a friend? That's right. So Daniel and Mary Sue, y'all. Daniel and Mary... We got something going on here. Daniel and Mary Sue got divorced. And Daniel is still living here in the house, so I don't really know what to do with him. He doesn't have enough money to move out. He's just sleeping up here in Lilith's room, and I, so I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with him. We were talking about this at the end of the last stream. Okay, I got a whole bunch of hydrates. Hold on here. Oh, good lord, you guys! <laughs> good god! Okay, 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hydrates. Okay, well, you guys can watch Angela work out while I do nine freaking hydrates, y'all. <laughs> okay, one. Yes, they got divorced on their own. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And I got another one, ten. <laughs> okay, what letter are we on? Okay, uh, Miles, I made a video today about what I thought about the Snowy Escape gameplay trailer. So go watch my video. It's not too long. It's like 11 minutes long. But I, yeah, <laughs> I made a video about that. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pause this while I try to figure out what letter we're on. Are we on H? Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Queens Undead. All right, so I think we're on... No. No, 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 guys. We're on letter O. This is going to be little baby Olya or Ollie. So this baby is going to be named after Olya because she is one of my super fans and I name my babies after super fans if we get to the letter and i know i have some super i know i have some tier three subs out there that i don't know what your name is if you are a tier three sub and i don't know what your name is, tell me what your name is <laughs> so i can add you to the list but this so this is this baby already has a name so you guys don't have to put your names in thank you so much for the follow pringles okay here we go so we're on a so after O. The next baby born is going to be P. P is in pelvis. <laughs> P is in hot pelvis. <laughs> yeah, Oli is a pretty name. If it's a boy, we're going to name him Ollie. Um, okay, tenant status disabled. That's cool. So let's see what's going on with the rest of our Sims. Mary Sue's sleeping away. I don't think she has to go to work today. No, she's off on the weekends. Because she works in the political career. Daniel here. Daniel's not doing good at his job. He's doing terribly. He's doing absolutely terribly at his job. He hasn't been going to any of his games. Like, his life is spiraling out of control, y'all. Yeah, I'm really disappointed in the whole lifestyles thing, too. I, I'm still, I still don't know about the sentiments, which are going to be added into the base game. So, once I know more about that, I'll make a video about that, too. <laughs> Hot pelvis is your new favorite drink. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, I want Mary Sue to keep the house. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, and Mary Sue, what's she been up to? Oh, Mary Sue's dating Don Lothario, by the way, guys. By the way, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> and when we get to the letter P, don't you dare put pelvis in the name generator. And don't you dare put pelva in there either. <laughs> pelva the pelvis. <laughs> Ooh, hey Mary, welcome. Glad you could join us. <laughs> if I kick Daniel, I don't want him to be homeless. I don't want to kick him out with nowhere to go. Like, I want to keep him playable. So right now, Mary Sue's letting him live in Lilith's old room. Just, I think, for the sake of Angela and, like, he's helping with the grandkids and stuff, y'all. I know, I just put it out there in the universe. I just did it. I did it to myself. I did pelva to myself. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, let me make sure everything's on here. Let's see. Mary Sue's sleeping, like I said. Daniel, does he have to go to work today? He does. He does have to go to work today? He, do he does. <laughs> I can't ever keep up with his stupid days. I don't know what all these colors are. I think he does have to go to work today, so that's at 3 p.m. I'm going to go ahead and let him sleep in a little bit later, and then we'll just be down here with Angela. I guess the baby is doing okay. We're going to have to change her diaper soon. No, you are not getting a bone, Hilda. God, these and they have no money. Aw, oh, thank you so much for the tier one sub, Bridgie. Thank you. Mary Sue does have a thing for cheaters. You're absolutely right about that. Grayed out is off days, okay. 
You like the background music? I'm glad you can hear it. I can barely even hear it with this TV on. <laughs> I have to turn it down to like two or it's too loud for you guys. I can barely hear it, but you guys can hear it. Yeah, Angela is pregnant, y'all. She is having a baby and her second teenage pregnancy. Oh Lord, she's starting early. She is starting early. Oh, thank you so much for giving out the gift sub, Evelyn. Thank you for giving, um, let's see, gift, thank you for giving the gift sub to Omander. And thank you so much for the Prime sub. I have no idea how to say your name, a a a Alfie. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but thank you so much for the three month Prime sub. Thank you for the Prime sub, Melancholy. Thank you very much. And thank you for the four month Prime sub, Shelby. Thank you so much. I was talking about you the other day, Shelby, when we were talking about twins. How is it going? How is it going with your pregnancy? Oh, oh, that's everybody. Okay, got everybody up there. Well, you guys just hit me all at once there. <laughs> Mary Sue does make weird choices. Only a couple of weeks left. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> well, I hope everything goes well for you, Shelby. Mary Sue's dad a cheater? Yeah, he is. Well, I don't think he's actually cheated on Coral yet. Not in this game. But he is a romance sim, so yeah. All right, Angela, you're... What is she trying to do here? Work out for four hours straight? And she's only been working out for 0.1 hour? What? That can't be right. Is that, is that right? Okay, well, you gotta stop anyway and go change your baby's diaper. I'm gonna go upstairs and change the baby's diaper. Then she can start getting ready for the birthday party, which I guess it would be a good time to invite Coral and Herb over. Um, they, I don't think they've met their great-grandchildren yet. Let's go change this dirty diaper. Hey, Sims 3 Gamer Girl. Coral cheated with Darren in The Sims 2. See, I am doing the same thing and I'm getting them, I'm getting Sims 2 Pleasant View mixed up with Sims 3 Pleasant View too. I'm like, what happened in which one? Hmm, Cindy, maybe it wasn't a good idea to play the same exact characters in two different games. <laughs> I know, maybe I should have played a different neighborhood. <laughs> but we're already here. We're deep in it. We're deep in it now. So it's too late. Sorry if you're confused. I'm confused too. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm glad you could make it though. I'm glad you could make it, Shelby. Okay, let's see. What are we gonna do now? She's pretty good. I'm gonna have her take a bath and then we'll start getting the party set up, I guess. I don't know what we're gonna do for the party. Just get a just get a birthday cake, I guess. <clears throat> The father of Angela's kids is Dustin. Oh, great. We've got an imaginary friend. Oh, Angela got her athletic skill to level three. All right. Yeah. Um, Dustin is the father of both of her children. Oh, I don't know, Max. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which sim. I don't know which verb is in which game. Kevin Burb was in my original Pleasant View. Forest Burb is in The Sims 2. And Falcon Burb is in The Sims 3. Now, Ivy Burb was a different game. <laughs> I can't remember. I don't know. I'm not playing any more Pleasant Views ever again, though. It's too much to keep up with. I don't think so, Vigilanton. I don't think it's possible. For Mayor Athena to meet a gay guy without goosing him. <laughs> there have been 30 burb children. <laughs> so many burbs. What? Okay. I don't understand why I get this pop up sometimes. I don't think Ivy was my original. Ivy wasn't my original Pleasant View, no. I, well, she was my original Sims 3 Pleasant View. I think. But she definitely wasn't my original, original Pleasant View. I know, because I've been playing around with those Sims lately. <laughs> You're playing it in The Sims 4, Mary? I could, I guess I could play it in The Sims 4. <laughs> Let's play it in The Sims. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that on the stream. It's too much. It's too much. But I got, I got something. I got something in store for you guys that has to do with 
Pleasant View in The Sims 4, but I'm not telling you what. It's not a recreation of Pleasant View in The Sims 4, but it's something else. Something else! It's a surprise! <laughs> but it's taken me forever. I've been working on it for weeks. Um, who's getting a phone call? I don't know. I think Angela's getting a phone call in the bath. Daniel, it's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to wake up. Wake and bake. No, no, never mind. That's Daniel. He's not gonna wake and bake. Um, let's eat some leftovers. All right, thanks for that hype train, guys. What do we get? Oh, level one complete. All right. I have done one live stream for The Sims 4 and it um, didn't go so hot, but it was when I first started streaming. So, and I was doing a challenge, which really, I hate challenges. So I, I'm, I think, I'm thinking about trying to stream Sims 4 again, maybe, but I'm worried it's gonna tank my stats. So I can't experiment too much right now. <laughs> maybe I'll do it on YouTube. <laughs> Um, I'm not actually playing it, Bexy, but I'm doing things to it. <laughs> I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you. What? No, we're not having a bachelorette party. We're not ready for a bachelorette party, okay? I think that's Randy London or something. Um, I can't tell you guys too much because I don't want to give away what I'm doing. But, um, no, we're not having a bachelorette party right now. But thank you anyway for thinking of me. No, I did a... What did I do in The Sims 4? What was I doing in The Sims 4? I don't remember. <laughs> what did I stream on The Sims 4? Uh, I don't know if I was doing a poverty challenge or something. I don't know. I was doing some kind of challenge. I don't, I don't know. But it was before I had my, like, my strategy down of how I want to play The Sims 4. I needed to spend some time with the game and see how I feel, how I like to play it and how I think it's fun. <clears throat> I did the poverty challenge with Anthony, but then I did another stream. And I don't remember what it was. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the follow, Love Muffin. Just like my, just like Leslie's store, Leslie's Love Muffins. Bagrina, yes, that was Bagrina. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, I think I did a poverty challenge. I did like one or two streams or something, but I didn't get that many viewers. And I think it was because I was new to streaming on Twitch. I think it was like my first Twitch stream that I did that. R rags to riches type of thing. Yeah, that's what it was. Thank you, Hendrick. God, you guys remember what I do better than me. <laughs> Oh, thank you for saying hi, Love Muffin. And hello to, uh, thank you for the follow, Callie. All right, Daniel, you're just, look at him. He's just sitting there all creepy, staring straight ahead. Mm. Daniel, you're, you're weird. You're weirding me out. Oh, he wants to fix the TV. Okay, you go do that. And Angela, let's, let's throw this birthday party. Let me get a birthday cake. No, it wouldn't, Sammy. It would not be uh, restricted. If I did it on YouTube, it would be public. Um, the all I only have one stream that I do for the for my uh, tier two subs, and that's the Edgewood. <clears throat> Everything else will be public. Okay, here we go. But I've been thinking about doing Sims Four. I'm not quite ready yet, though. I'm still I still got a little bit of work to do on my uh, rules that I'm working on. I want to make sure it's perfect. I want to make sure it's perfected before I go live with you guys. <laughs> okay, so let's, I guess, go to the, f I'm trying to find the phone. Where's the phone on the wall? I, I want to use the wall phone. I want to go old school, Sims 2 style. We're going to throw a party on the wall phone. The wall phone? Is that what I'm calling it now? The wall phone. <laughs> He's casually entering a clinical depression after breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, it has to be on an off day, Mary. That's a good idea. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't make, I wouldn't let it take the place of a Sims 2 or Sims 3 stream. I would do like an extra thing and just sort of like see what kind of interest I got in it. We'll see how it goes. Hey, noiseless. The landline. That's what it's called. Not the wall phone. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I wish landline still existed. Okay, let's do, I mean, not in real life, but in the game. 
<laughs> Landlines do, do still exist in real life. <laughs> We're throwing a birth. I usually don't throw birthday parties for babies, but that's what Angela wanted to do, y'all. She wanted to. And I think this would be a good way to get Herb and Coral over here, too. This is just going to be casual. You don't have to dress up for the babies. We can invite Bone Hilda. We can freaking invite, invite Bone Hilda. <laughs> oh, man. I haven't had a landline in a year. Robin Banks and Robin Banks. <laughs> I haven't had a landline in literally years. We're going to invite Dustin and Brandy, of course. And I guess we'll invite... We're, there's, no need, there's no need to invite John and... Well, I guess John and Jennifer are related. So we'll invite that. We'll invite the burbs. I'm trying to keep it a little bit low key here. And we're not going to invite Nina. We're only, we're really only going to invite family to this, y'all, because it's a baby's birthday party. Nobody wants to go to a baby's birthday party if they're not related to the baby, right? Right? Um, oh, Cassandra. Cassandra actually might want to come because Cassandra and Mary Sue are best friends. So she might actually want to come. Man, why does Bella Goss look so scary? And let's see. I think that's it. I think that's all we're gonna oh herb and coral that, they're the whole reason i threw the party i forgot to invite them yeah she did <laughs> my parents had a landline until my mom passed away and then we got a cell phone for my stepdad <laughs> he never had a cell phone before then um okay that's good that's what we're gonna do. Thank you for the follow, Laura Longbangs. And Angela's party is starting soon. Angela's a party animal. That must be why she wanted to throw the party in the first place, which she doesn't even want to do now. She wants to learn how to drive too. I would really like to have maybe Daniel work with her and teach her how to drive. Oh, Mary Sue's just now waking up, lazy bones. She wants to work at home. All right, you better get ready for this party. Everybody get ready. Oh, Angela's starting to get the pregnancy walk, too. You can, but you can't. I don't think you can normally, Teeny. I don't think you can normally uh, invite Grim or Bone Hilda or stuff. Maybe Bone Hilda, but I don't think you can normally invite Grim, but I have the NRAS mod. Thank you for the cheer, Recky. Thank you. Is she nauseous? I don't see nauseous. I just see prego. Who Mary Sue? Oh, Mary Sue does! <gasps> Is Mary Sue pregnant? Is Mary Sue Gregante? Oh my god, did she... From who? Oh my god, who is she pregnant by? Do not tell me she got pregnant by Don Lothario. Oh my god. <laughs> I think she is pregnant. I don't know of any other reason for her to be nauseous. And to be honest, I don't think she and Daniel have been intimate in quite a while. So I don't think it's Daniel's baby. Because they got divorced. She got pregnant by somebody else. <laughs> I know. Who could it be? It's, I don't know who else it could be but Dawn. Oh my god, y'all. We got to keep an eye on this situation. If Mary Sue and Dawn have a baby, I swear to god. <laughs> That'll be the only time that's ever happened in my game. Okay, when is the party? When's the party? Oh, we still got like an hour. What car is that? Debate politics. Herb Oldie. Oh, I don't care. Um, Mary Sue wants to go debate politics with Daniel. She's like, hey, you. Who you voting for? You're wrong. <laughs> Oh, that was the maid's car? That's what it looks like? Aw, oh, thank you so much for the sub, Recky. Thank you. I hope I'm saying your name right. Okay, our guests are arriving. Oh, Lilith, we didn't invite you. Oops, sorry. Thanks for thanks for coming anyway. Dirk Dreamer came. We didn't invite him either. <laughs> I hate the oldies. I can't help it. I can't help it. I don't know why. I, I just dislike them. But you know what? In The Sims 3, they're not too bad because you don't actually have to play them. They just live and die. And they're just in the background. So it's okay. <laughs> Melba for president. Where did everybody go? Are they all going for the baby? Daniel. I don't. 
I don't know what you're trying to do here. Uh-oh, enemy? Who's her, who's her enemy? Angela has an enemy here. Who is it? Oh, Lilith. Duh. It's Lilith. <laughs> of course it's Lilith. <laughs> yeah, she probably is, Max. She's probably, she's probably worried about her image with the, you know, the two teen pregnancies of her daughter. <laughs> like sand through the hourglass. So were the days of the oldies. <laughs> this is what are you guys doing up here this is so weird get downstairs where the party is all right or everybody come upstairs mortimer's here these people are just crashing mary sue are you thinking about babies are you thinking about babies over here oh god she's thinking about babies and her job okay somebody needs to take care of this baby um angela okay angela's going for the baby Let's give the baby her bottle and then we'll go ahead and age her up. Morty was grooving. <laughs> um, I don't know if Alex and Lucy are aging up soon. Probably. Well, actually, they're not going to age up before Dustin and Angela. So they have over nine days. I don't like moving the oldies in with the pleasants. I just like leaving them out there on their own to fend for themselves don't do your homework it's time to age your baby up <laughs> okay so let's go we're gonna bring the baby to the cake and we're gonna get to see what she looks like Ooh, who brought food that looks like some fancy food no not blow out candles what can we not bring the baby to the cake can you not do that Ah, thank you so much for the follow serena okay let me see here did I throw the birthday party on the wrong day? <laughs> oh my god. Did I throw the birthday party on the wrong day? Is it supposed to say zero days? Oh god. Okay, let's... Well, we're gonna age her up a day early. We're gonna age her up a day early because I already threw the party, okay? <laughs> then w what we'll do is we'll just i'll just adjust her age so she's one day so she stays a child one day longer i know i'm used to the sims 2 i did it sims 2 style <laughs> okay so i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna do this anyway and and we'll just make her be a child a day longer because <clears throat> i already threw the party somebody's aging up somebody's gonna age up let's see um can I not age her up? Okay, hold the baby. Crap. Crap. <laughs> Thank you for the three months, Evelyn. Or e e Evelyn? I hope I'm saying that right. I have a cake. Oh, if you... Oh, I have to blow out the candles and then I can choose her? Oh, okay. Okay. We'll do that. We'll do that. Jeez, I see you can tell I never throw birthday parties for my babies in The Sims 3. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Mary Sue, what are you doing? Mary Sue? Mary Sue? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh lord have mercy. She's pregnant. She's Gregante. <laughs> oh no. Who got her pregnant, y'all? Who got Mary Sue pregnant? Oh my god, I don't know who the baby is. I don't know whose baby this is. It's got to be Dawn's. It's got to be Dawn's. Dawn and freaking Mary Sue are going to have a baby, I swear. Oh, there we go. Georgia. Georgia broke. Oh. Babby has been formed, y'all. Dawn's spreading it around. Oh, hey, Jennifer. Thanks for coming by. Jennifer and John just arrived. Just in time. Um, Angela, where are you? Come on now. Everybody get out of the way. She tried to go age up the baby. Yeah. Oh, is she going to age the baby up up here? This is annoying, this whole thing they do with the stairs. I see you tapping your feet. Tap, 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 tap. I'm trying to get downstairs. She's a lizard. <laughs> She's a lizard person. 
<laughs> Look at the one candle. Oh my god, that's so cute. One candle. <laughs> yes, we already have a name. Hey, Ulya, this is this is gonna be little baby Ulya. I'm glad you could make it. Angela's baby has a has a name. Oh my god, Angela, what's wrong with your eyes? What's up with her eyes? I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> but then Mary Sue's baby, we do not have a name for it. Let me just check my list. I know I have some people not on my list who are getting a baby named after them, but if you if you are tier three on Twitch, I'm gonna have to go through on Discord and make sure I have everybody's name. Um, but I do not have a P, so we will be having a P. Okay, where's the baby? She's bored to death, that's what it is. P for Mary Sue, yeah. P as in pelvis. <laughs> Hot pelvis. Okay, come on. This is taking forever. The Sims 3 birthday parties take forever. Don't you guys think so? It takes so much longer. Oh, there she goes. Oh, we're gonna have to change that hair. We're gonna have to change that hair. The days have flown by. Georgia is now a toddler. She still needs a lot of caring for, but now she will also learn basic sim skills, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, your baby's grown into a toddler. I don't care. Okay, all right. First of all, we gotta, we gotta just fix this right now. <laughs> that hair doesn't really make, that hair texture doesn't really make sense for her. So we're gonna go in and change that. I need to go get my store hairs because I have like three toddler hairs. <laughs> oh my gosh well she's got blonde hair like her daddy and she's got green eyes does she have no eyebrows y'all why does this baby not have any eyebrows why does she not have any eyebrows <laughs> i don't know okay hold on she's got green eyes like her mom and blonde hair like her dad angela shaved him Okay, this is the only little girl toddler hair I have right here. I have this one, but it doesn't... I don't think she would have that hair texture. I mean, I guess we have this one. That's bad. I gotta get, I gotta get my other hairs. Right now, all the toddlers are gonna have this hair. Um, oh. Oh, thank you, Nathan. Um, some of those I don't know who their actual names are. Okay, so let's see. Oh, kitty! Ah, oh, crap, I didn't close my door. My cat's in here now. Let's give her some eyebrows. Laszlo! And now he's not going to be able to get out. Oh, we're going we're gonna to get terrorized by this cat in a minute. He's going to be up here. So I guess you guys are going to get to see him tonight. <laughs> Did she have eyebrows and you just couldn't see them? Oh my god, she did have eyebrows. You just can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't see him. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can check hats. Lazo, what are you doing? I don't, I don't know. I can't help you, cat. I can't help you. You got in here. He pushed the door open. He got in here, and then the door, like, kind of closed, and now he can't get out. I can't help you, cat. Okay, yeah, let's give her some little pigtails. How about that? Give her some little pigtails. That gives us a few more options, yeah. That's cute. Oh, let's see, they have blue. Thank you for the follow, Phoenix Town. I have no blue, I have a pink though. I mean, that's kind of cute, right? She doesn't match at all. Let's give her some different shoes. Laszlo, come here. I'm trying to get him to get up here so I can show, so you guys can see him. Let's do some little white shoes. Aw, oh, thank you so much for the four months, Sarah. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Yeah, oh, Lazo, you're blocking the camera. <laughs> Lazo. <laughs> Get No, buddy. Come here. No. Come here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it down. Okay, so get ready to see a lot of him because he loves to get on my desk. That's, I usually have him out of the room whenever I'm streaming. I know, cat butt. He mooned you guys. <laughs> All right.
right, so I think this is good for Georgia. We're just gonna leave her like this. She's got little pink bows. He is a, he's so big now. Uh, he's trying to get out of the room, I feel. Oh, he got out! Oh my god, he got out! Wow, that cat is agile. He opened the door and got out by himself. He totally just did that. I wish you guys could have seen it. He just opened the door. <laughs> he's a smart boy. I don't know what he's I don't know what he's doing I, f I think he's looking for somebody to play with maybe the dogs will play with him okay so there's little Georgia she has eyebrows that we cannot see <laughs> thank you so much for the two months princess Di they do that to get into the bathroom when you why do they always like to come to you when you're on the toilet like, he does that to me too I'm like I'm busy here cat I'm busy Leeches in the world unite. Dina Goth is heralding a new era in slacking with the addition of Don Lothario to her gaggle of malcontents. Laszlo, he's back. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not pay attention to him. And oh my god. Oh, she wants to ask about career. I thought she wanted to move in with Dustin. Dang it, it gets me every time. <laughs> it's for protection? Really? Is that dogs or cats? Okay, so let's get this cake. Let's get this party going. If she wants to move in with Dustin before they're adults, I'll let her do it. If she doesn't, then they're just going to live at home until while they're teenagers. Because they don't have any money. They don't have any money. My dogs don't ever come in the bathroom with me. They don't care. They don't care. This is so crowded in here. My dogs just don't even care. They're like, whatever. But my cat, he always comes in there with me. I think he just comes in there because he likes to get petted. No, that's not true. Morty will. Morty will come in the bathroom because he knows that I have nothing else to do but pet him. So he'll come in there for love. <laughs> Lazlo loves to watch, um, like, if I'm in the bathtub or something. He likes to just sit there and look at the water. He lo he's like fascinated by water, but he doesn't want it to touch him. And one time he fell in the toilet right before a stream. So now we have to keep the toilet lid closed all the time. <laughs> Morty's grooving in the background. Oh, he stopped now. Okay, everybody's finally getting their cake. I love it that the maids put the maid puts away the leftovers. Did you see that? I really like that. Thank you, Kaylin. Doing a good job. I can't believe Kaylin is still their maid. Mary Sue's like, whatever, I don't care anymore. Yeah, well, um, we'll be on the letter P for Mary Sue's baby, yeah. Yeah. Okay, the party's... What in the heck are you wearing, Daniel? Oh, you're, he's trying to go to work. Angela learned that Mortimer is a genius. Okay, Daniel's going to work, which he desperately needs to do because his work performance is so bad so bad he needs to go to some games so tomorrow he has a game we're gonna try and make sure he goes to it and let's check on our let's check on our girl here um oh no we need to buy a potty y'all we gotta buy a potty so we can start potty training her um so let's see where the heck are we gonna put a potty i think we'll put one downstairs we'll just put it oh i can't put it right there can i put it right no. Why? Oh, you need so much space for the potties in, in The Sims 3. I'll just put it here in Mary Sue's room. <laughs> the baby can poop in your room, Mary Sue. And then let's have somebody go and try to potty train her. Is this Sims 3 or Sims 2? <laughs> this is Sims 3. Um, okay. Angela, go and potty train Georgia. What? Stop whatever you're doing. Your life is over now. You're gonna have two children. What is going on in this bedroom? Cassandra and Herb Oldie are in here dancing together in the bedroom. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> They're killing it. <laughs> okay, potty train your child. She's so cute. I wonder what she's going to look like when she gets older. And I wonder what their second baby's going to look like. And I wonder what Dawn and Mary Sue's baby's going to look like. 
Never in my life have I had a Dawn and Mary Sue baby. These two. Let's see what's going on in the rest of the party. What's going on over here? Oh, Jennifer's gonna play us some music. I hate that bamboo tub too. <laughs> Dairy Dreamer's painting some more. Um, I was thinking we were gonna be able to leave this household after Angela's baby, but it doesn't look like we will because I think I'm pretty, I mean, I'm 100% sure Mary Sue's pregnant, but we haven't gotten the pop-up to tell us that she's pregnant yet. All right, bye Brandy, thanks for coming. Even though we didn't even invite you, did we? Yeah, we did, we did. I forget who I invited. Mary Sue's la baby's last name? I have no idea, because I don't know who the father is. So I have no idea who the, what his, what the last name's gonna be. Um, I don't know if Mary Sue will make, so Mary Sue is divorced from Daniel, but her last name is still Pleasant. She has never changed her last name back. I don't think she would want to give the baby the last name of Pleasant. So I don't know. We'll try to figure out who the dad is. Aw, little Georgia. You're so freaking cute. Have you heard that Lucy Burb is secretly a party animal? What? You're, you're over there gossiping about your own child? What are your own grandchild? What is in her hand? Oh, she's showing her grand showing off her grandchildren. We all miss the divorce. <laughs> I don't know when it happened. I just started playing this family and they were divorced. Yeah. She hasn't changed her name back to Oldie yet. Okay, Angela's done. Angela's Angela, get some cake. She wants to have a great birthday party. I don't know if it's gonna be great, but we'll try. We'll try our best. Did I say she wants to have cake? Why did I say that? <laughs> yeah, Lucy, Lucy hitting the bar in The Sims 2. Okay, Mary Sue, what can we do for you? Learn piano skill. Let's have Mary Sue play some music then. Are you making coffee? Um, I think she has a piano. Yeah, she does. So let's play alone. Coral's leaving. Coral didn't even meet her great granddaughter. She's just like, I'm out of here. She's doing the old Irish goodbye. The I isn't that what it's called? The Irish goodbye, where you just leave. You don't you don't say goodbye to anybody. You just leave. <laughs> you just walk out. That's what I do. That's what I do at family gatherings. No, I'm just kidding. And that's what I would do if I if I didn't want to offend. If I wasn't afraid of offending people, I would just be like, I'm out. I know it's a lot of people. I've always heard it as Irish. I've never heard it as French. You guys want to know what the Southern goodbye is? The Southern goodbye is you say goodbye and then you talk for 30 more minutes and then you move to the door and then you talk for 30 more minutes and then you move outside to the driveway and then you talk for 30 more minutes and then you get in the car and then you talk for 30 more minutes and then you leave as your family chases you down the road waving at you still trying to talk to you more. <laughs> That's the, that's what we do in the South. <laughs> yeah. It's like, if you want to leave at 8 o'clock, you better start saying goodbye at like 5 or 6. Because you're not getting out of there. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, what's going on with the rest of my family here? Um, Daniel. Daniel's at work. Oh, I didn't want to click on him. Jeez, Louise. Take me back home. Uh, Mary Sue's playing some music. Angela needs to eat. Oh, I said she wanted cake because she's hungry. And everybody ate all the cake. So let's go eat some leftovers. Uh, oh, man, they have a lot of leftovers. Oh, there is cake in there. Hot wings. Let's get some hot wings. Bye, Lucy. Yeah, I'd be given three trays of food to take home. Yes, from your grandma. <laughs> Uh, usually I'm the one I'm like hey can I take a plate home <laughs> I'm asking I'm like let me let me take a plate home so I don't have to cook <laughs> bye 
Hi, Mortimer. See you. Thanks for coming. Jo John and Jennifer are having a great time in here. Well, we had an awesome party for a baby. And she's doing okay, too. We're going to have to put her down for a nap soon. Finish reading Signing Better Shoe Deals? Okay, I guess. Whatever. Get yourself some hot wangs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> slaps knee. All right, we better hit the road. Talks for two more hours. Yep, that's it. That's it. Wait, what do you do? Why are you spraying Cassandra with champagne? This isn't a bachelor party. This isn't a bachelorette party. <laughs> Eva, my hair is a, a wig. <laughs> but thank you. I really like it too. <laughs> I don't have to color it. It's great. <laughs> Yeah, you can do anything in a baby's party. They won't remember. It's true. It's true. <laughs> That's okay. A lot of people don't know. <laughs> okay, so what's going on? Let's go ahead and put the baby down for a nap. And Angela's getting pretty tired herself. So let's put the baby in the crib. And then I'm going to have Angela go ahead and take a nap. I want to teach her how to drive. But geez, we have no time now that she's pregante. All right, bye, Jennifer. Mary Sue's down here tickling the ivories. <laughs> your, your Nana's always trying to get your mom to take some food home. Yeah. That's how my grandparents were, too. But I don't... All my grandparents are... have crossed the rainbow bridge, y'all. They're all gone. <laughs> get a, Of course you want to get a massage you're pregnant and you just don't know it yet um okay why don't you get off there and go take care of something i don't know use the bathroom take a bath in there oh cassandra's still hanging around daniel's still at work let's see his his work performance is not going up is there anything we can do okay let's have him hang with teammates because he has a pretty bad bad face for his teammates there I don't care what anyone else thinks. I think you're hot. Oh, God. Nina, no. Nina thinks Daniel's hot. Thank you so much for the Prime Sub Life with Linsky. Bye, Borsha. <laughs> they stink. Who stinks? Somebody stinks? Oh, Mary Sue does. Not really. Um... Uh, la 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 la. Oh, you want to potty train the? You want to potty train Georgia? Oh, nope. Learn to drive is better. I I guess I could get rid of one of these. Get married? No, five thousand, five thousand, five thousand, two thousand. Nope. Sorry. Stank it. <laughs> Soak in the bamboo tub. Get rid of your stank. In your Sims Two, Mary Sue is the hots for Nina and Daniel both. Wow. <laughs> hey, Hannah. <laughs> she be stanking. <laughs> She's stanking. I think they have to keep all the water in with flex tape on the bamboo tubs, too. <laughs> flex paste. Flex paste. <laughs> stanky. I'll make a stanky sound bite if you want one. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Lin Linsky. Yeah, Cassandra doesn't mind. She's just hanging out, watching some romance on TV, reading a book. Okay, I'm going to speed things up here a little bit. Uh, Angela's going to sleep. It doesn't say how long she's going to sleep, but we'll speed things up a bit. Once I'm, I'm ready for Daniel to get home so we have some money. Okay, Mary Sue, what do you want to do? Buy something on sale, work from home, get a massage, learn handiness skill. All right, let's learn handiness skill. Read Handiness Volume 1. I know, I don't, I didn't want the tape so much as I want the paste. I found the paste to be very satisfying. Okay, Daniel just ca is coming home now. He wants to eat at the bistro and go to a hot spot. Okay, well, Daniel has his own life, y'all. And if he wants to go eat at the bistro, then that's what he's going to do. So, don't, why are you, no, don't, don't do that, Daniel. Don't do, that's weird. Don't do that. Let's go eat at the bistro. At the bistro. 
<laughs> Maybe you'll meet somebody there. Oh, there's a hot spot. What's a hot spot? The freaking park? Um, okay, well, you're going to eat. Eat here alone. 75 simoleons for one person to eat? God, I need to put a diner in town because that's freaking expensive. 75 bucks? I could eat at McDonald's like 10 times on that. <laughs> you can definitely eat at Taco Bell 10 times on $75 for one person. <laughs> oh, we have another one, Sammy. We'll have to watch that. What a great party. I had a blast. Well, thank you for coming, Cassandra. I'm glad you had fun. Let's go down this hill. This hill that... Oh, this hill was the bane of my existence. Trying to get that hill where the car didn't, like, fly off the road. <laughs> he can do almost everything he wants except for play piano in front of his workplace like an idiot. Okay. Well, let's go. Angela's party was awesome, verging on epic. Wow. Wow. The baby's party was epic. Congratulations, Allison has... Who the heck is Allison? I don't give a crap. Why is she... Okay, why am I getting... Hmm. I wonder if this sim has moved in somewhere. Because I don't know why I'd be getting pop-ups for her. Do I usually get pop-ups for the townies? I hope not. You stay out of my world, Allison. You stay out of my world. Don't make me have to annihilate you. <laughs> I know. I, sometimes I do a mass annihilation. Um, sometimes I'll just go to Master Controller and just, like, delete everybody that's not one of my sins. Like, you're all out. I hate you all. Leave. Die. <laughs> Hot pelvis really gets you going. <laughs> Creepy kids on the street's edge. I know, I just kind of gave up on them. I'm just like, whatever. You just stand. We just have a real creepy phenomena in Pleasant View where children just stand on the street corner all day staring ahead creepily. Oh, hey, Nick. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, Mary Sue learned whatever. Handiness. The Pleasant Annihilator. Why do I do that? Because I hate the random sins. I don't care about them. And I want them out of my world. Children of the corn, I know. Okay, who's getting a phone call? Mary Sue, answer your phone. Let's see who's calling you. Maybe it'll be uh, Dawn asking if you're Pregante. All right, Angela's awake now too. And I can't really do anything that she wants to do. I want to take her and teach her how to drive. But I'm not going to do it at 8. Did I say 8.64? I think I have a smudge on my on my screen. It looks like it says 8.64. Thank you for the follow, Meline. I don't know how to say it, but th hello, thank you. <laughs> Random Sims will be eliminated eventually. <laughs> oh, she's teaching Georgia how to walk. Aw. Become best friends with Andrea Hogan to improve your charisma skill. All right. That's cool. I'll become best friends with Andrea Hogan. Does she know her? Oh, yeah. She's wearing the goggles. She's wearing the goggles. Okay, why don't you call and chat with her then? You're not going to become best friends if you don't have a chat. I forgot. I think she's the she's the bartender or the proprietor or something. Oh, thank you for the follow, Ashley B. Falcon has has learned to walk. Okay, Andrea's at work. Falcon Burb learned to walk. Aww. I'm so glad. And Daniel's still eating at the bistro. So let's just let's see. Mary. There are two Ivy Kapurs because that's just what Maxis did. I don't know. I don't know if it, they intentionally did it or if it was an accident, but that's what they did. Uh, put in crib. Aw. Mary Sue. Mary Sue's going to go put the baby up. So Angela can do her homework. That's very nice. Angela, get your assignments done. She's trying. She's trying to be a teen mom and get her homework done. I'm proud of her. 
the baby's crying. She's like, I can't take this anymore. And Mary Sue's like, I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll put the baby away. Put the baby away. <laughs> put the baby in its cage. I love hot drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You're constantly wearing goggles everywhere you go. I have, uh, have you guys ever played the VR for PlayStation? Because it is awesome. Oh my God. I thought it was going to be all lame and gimmicky. But then my brother, when I went to visit him, he had like the whole VR headset and like a whole bunch of games. And I just like all night long, I was just like in that thing playing all the games. It's so fun. Um, thank you so much for the follow, Auntie Yo Yo. Oh, and I got a save game too. Okay, let me save. Let's save. Hot drinks really get you going. Oh, I want to make that my ringtone too, Kayla. I want to make that my ringtone. <laughs> Turn the volume all the way up and go out in public. <laughs> we always sing hot drinks in this house. Your son has it as his. <laughs> I love it. There's a VR game called Beat Saber. We haven't played that one. I haven't played that one. <laughs> it is chilly in Colorado, yeah. Aw, thank you so much for the 100 bits, Evelyn. <laughs> Hello. Hello, the other Evelyn. <laughs> No, I was not a theater kid at all. Not at all. I didn't do any kind of theater stuff. Um, I was in choir. <laughs> I was in choir. <laughs> but um, I can't sing very well. But I did it anyway. They didn't care. They'd take anybody. <laughs> I love to sing even though I'm not good at it. Lucy Verb. Okay, did Lucy age up? Oh my god, y'all! Lucy aged up our crap! We missed it! Okay, so this is gonna happen because I have no spreadsheet at all. I didn't think she was gonna age up before Angela and Lilith. Oh, she's still a child. Oh, she was still a child. Whoever was asking me that earlier, I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, she aged up, so we're moving up. We're gonna go over here and check out, check her out. We're gonna check her. No, 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 no. What? What the heck? I didn't. I don't want to go that deep. I just wanted to go make active. <laughs> okay, we gotta find Lucy. Did Lucy just age? Okay, no, that's John. I was like, did Lucy just age up by herself in a public bathroom? Nope, she's at home. She had no party. Oh my god, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> you got kicked out of choir for talking too much. <laughs> I didn't go to my... Like, we had this big concert we were supposed to do. Um, Like, as the final... As your final grade, and I didn't go to it. <laughs> I got anxiety. I didn't go. Um, Lucy? Lucy. Lucy, honey. Oh, good lord. Oh my god, y'all. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, they probably never heard heard it before, but that would be funny. Um, yeah. Oh my god, yes, she was at George's party. Nobody remembered her birthday. I feel so sad. Okay, let's take her into Creative Sim, y'all. We gotta fix this. We gotta fix this. I feel really bad. I hate missing their birthdays. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go around and figure out who uh, who all's birthday it is. I have to do that. I swear I'm gonna do that before the next time we play so we don't have to miss any more birthdays. I'm gonna like make time for it in my calendar. I can't, I don't like missing their birthdays. What did I click on? Advanced. I don't care about the baby birthdays, but I'm talking about they're like aging up to teen and stuff. Where is it? Oh, edit and create a sim. Her emo phase. That's you in junior high. <laughs> I don't know. Fingerless gloves must be a trend or something. I don't know of any way to make it alert you before a birthday. If anybody knows, let me know. But I don't, I don't know of any way to do that. I wish you could. That would just make it so much better. 
Um, Lucy is really cute, but we gotta do something about that makeup. I think I'll let her actually keep this outfit. This is the same outfit that my teenage girl in my custom neighborhood wears. <laughs> well, I don't know, her shoes don't match, yeah. You like the you like the heels? <laughs> I'm not doing that. Middle school. Okay, let's okay, let's start with I'm gonna let her keep this hairstyle because I think it looks pretty cute on her. And if that's how she wants her hair, I'm fine with that. But let's do something about the makeup. Yeah, I'm gonna let her keep the outfit too. What season is it? I don't even know. I don't even remember. I think it's like fall, about to be winter or something. Uh, okay, makeup, makeup. No, not mouth. Makeup. <clears throat> okay. Let's just do... I don't like to do too much of makeup, especially on my teenagers. So I'm just going to do very light. Maybe give her a little bit of eyeliner. Teenagers wear eyeliner, right? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't wear any makeup when I was a teenager. I was like anti-makeup. Yeah, I heard about that. I think it was a mistake, the Journey to Batu thing where it was popping up every time you were trying to buy. Okay, no, that's way too much. That's way too much. Um, okay, just a little bit of blush, I guess. I don't even think that did anything. And of course you have to be wearing that lipstick. Wear this lipstick instead. It's better. It's cuter. There. She looks cute. I don't know if I like that lipstick. Do this one. This is my favorite lipstick right here. I like this one a lot. Okay, she looks pretty cute. Now let's do something about this. these clothes. You wore sweatpants and no makeup. I didn't wear sweatpants, but I didn't wear makeup. I still don't really wear makeup hardly at all um i like putting makeup on my sims but i don't like putting it on myself let's give her let's first of all let's start with the shoes okay let's start with the shoes this thing looks like it would be a huge pain in the butt to take off do you have to take that completely off to go to the bathroom oh my god that's awful that'd be so uncomfortable thank you for the follow sister sarah Ah, shout out from apk to me for the Sims 3 Pleasant View. Aw, thank you. And also to Caleb, too, because he helped me a lot with this. And But thank you. And let's see. Let's give you some shoes. I'm going to give you these shoes. These are, these are the same shoes that I gave to my other Sim. She's, she's going to be like a clone of my... Of a Sim that I already have that's wearing this. And we're just going to do this. Yes. No. No. I want the purple to be on the bottom. There you go. Now you match. Now you match. Look at that. That's hideous. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 100 bits, APK. That is so ugly. Oh my god, no. Never mind. Make it brown or Get something. Get yourself an outfit. Get yourself an outfit. Okay, we'll make it brown. That looks better. <laughs> it's so bad with the purple. But I guess if you're a teenage girl... <laughs> And let's take off these stupid accessories. My god, it's probably just gonna pile a bunch of them back on her. That's how your housemate and you bonded by trying to pee while drunk in rompers. See, I would never wear a romper if I was gonna be drinking. If I'm gonna be drinking, which I hardly ever do, okay? Like, I haven't, I haven't had any alcohol in like over a year, probably. But if I do drink, I make sure I wear like leggings, like something that's like super easy. Because <laughs> you gotta, I gotta pee a lot. <laughs> okay, so I just want to take these off completely. I wish there was a button to just take all of it off. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta go like find it. Or at least find one of the same accessories. That's much cuter. I still don't think I like the bottom of that shoe though. I don't like that. Let's change that color. Thank you so much for the follow, Marginal Medusa. Let's make it a little there that's better like a little lighter i don't know that that color looks like baby poop to me like i want like give me a brown like let's go brown let's go to brown town <laughs> there kind of kind of 
Ah, there. That's what I'm going for. That's what I'm going for. Okay. <laughs> Her butt's popping. <laughs> She is cute for a potato. She is. I think I actually think the skin I use really makes a big difference in how they look. Okay, and let's now let's go check the rest of her clothes. Oh my god. I feel like it takes me so long to make a sim in The Sims 3. Or to like dress a sim. Or, oh my god. Good lord, Lucy. Good god. <laughs> Like, the outfit isn't bad, but what is all this? What is this? Why do you have this on your neck? Oh, my God. I think the outfit is okay. Like, the skirt and the shirt. But, yeah, this is this is bad. She's like, she's like a preppy girl who's trying to be emo or goth, but it, she just can't pull it off. And she just, like, ends up being really sad and pathetic. <laughs> Let's take all this crap off of you. Good Lord. Let's give you some nail polish. All right, there we go. Um, now let me change the color of your shoe. I'm gonna do it to match your, I'm gonna make her match here. Cause I like the outfit, it's not bad. Yeah, she doesn't know what style to go for. She's just doing all the styles. Okay, so I wanna make your, sh make sure your shirt is this color. It takes so long. Is that what color it already is? Okay, I guess so. And then let's make your shoes like a blue instead of yellow. There we go. Okay, so there's her formal. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I like to let them choose their own clothes as much as possible and just like change the coloring and stuff if it's possible. Like sometimes they'll just wear something that's so stupid you just can't keep it no matter what. It's not a phase, mom. <laughs> okay, so this is sleepwear. That looks really uncomfortable to sleep in. With a hood, just, no, no. I'm gonna give her a different shirt. I'm gonna give her a different shirt. Maybe she wants a shirt with something on it. That's fine. Mm -hmm. And then let's change the color of the shorts too. Change them to these. Okay, there, that's good for sleepwear. And then let's do athletic. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. <laughs> I hope she doesn't get pregnant too. She did in my let's play that I did on YouTube. Why do you keep putting this thing on your neck, Lucy? Tell me why. Why are you doing this? It is so ridiculous. <laughs> it is so stupid. Oh, God. Okay, well, whatever that is, take it off. And take that off. Oh, my God. Take it off! Okay, thank you. All right, and this is athletic? Okay, well, I guess the hoodie is okay. I don't know anybody who would want to do athletic stuff in jean shorts, so I'm gonna give her, like, some actual... I don't know, something like that, I guess. Or like that. And then let's just change the color to match the hoodie. That neck thing was a birthday gift from Lilith. Well, I don't think I don't think it I don't think it fits Lucy's style. And then let's get those snowboarding shoes are so bad. Let's get you some different shoes. <laughs> let's see, these will work. These will work. And then let's change the color of the shoes to like this green color. Like this. All right, let's give you some socks so you, I don't see your bare feet just sticking out there. See, I, I feel like this whole process is just, like, so time-consuming. I don't know why it feels like it takes so long, but it does. I feel like I can make a sim a lot faster in The Sims 2 or The Sims 4 than I can in The Sims 3. Even though I have, like, all the mods and everything to make it faster, it still just takes forever. <laughs> Bye, Guto! <laughs> I know, me too, Sister Sarah. I wish I could just take specific things out. Well, there are hiders. Oh my God, Lucy. Are you kidding me? This is what you're gonna wear to the pool? What is wrong with you? She's making me mad. She's just pissing me off now. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Lucy. 
Lucy, how dare you? Okay, well, we gotta get this necklace off. You can't wear that. You're gonna drown. You got glasses on? Why? Why? Just, just no, no. This is not right. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I have that basically simming. I have that setting on. So, yeah, it still, it still feels like it takes forever. I mean, that helps a lot, but still feels like it takes forever. She goes to the pool to lounge only. Okay, let's make, let's change the color of her bottoms. Um, you want to wear shorts with your, if with your top, I'm totally cool with that, but let's just make it match. She loves green. <laughs> and let's go to outerwear. We're almost done. We're almost done. So adorable. Or at least I, sh I thought I had that on, but it's not on, is it? It's not on. Oh, I definitely turned it on. I wonder if I turned it on in my other save and I didn't turn it on in this save. I bet that's what I did. I bet that's what I did. Because it's not on here. You're right. Um, we'll have to go do that. But even with that, I still feel like it's just like a process. I just, the just the organization of the stuff. You have to scroll so much. Okay, this is your outerwear. You're going to be cold. You are going to be cold. Let's get you some, uh, sh blah, 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 shoes. Shoes. Yeah, I think it's by save, too. And I, I know I turned it on, but I probably turned it on in my other save. Aw, uh, thank you so much for the, uh, sub chair to chair. Oh, and we got a meme time, too. Okay, we'll do the meme as soon as we get done. As soon as we get done here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Undo. 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 I think I want to make her shoes this color, though. You try, I try not to get too matchy. I'm very bad about that. I'll just make everything one color. <laughs> we do need a more columns mod. Is there a mod for that? More, like, if this could, like, take up this whole space over here, I think it would be a lot better. Okay, let's get some... Let's get some socks. Get some socks on you. I always have to give my sims socks. I just feel bad. Like, I don't, I just can't stand the thought of their feet in there with no socks on. Okay, so there's her outerwear. <sighs> yeah, I have, yeah, that's what we were talking about, Bexy. I have compact mode in my other save, but I guess I didn't put it on. I guess I didn't put it on in here. Okay, so Lucy is ready, y'all. She's ready to go. Oh my God, what did she get for personality? Artistic, family-oriented, and lucky. She got perceptive? No, we're changing that. We are changing that. I don't know what her parents' traits are. So hold on. I gotta take her out. I gotta take her out of here first. Because I gotta see what uh, Daniel and Mary Sue's traits are. It, it helps my... It makes mine go faster. The compact mode does. I like it. Let's see. I gotta go to PleasantSims.com because now I don't remember how I choose my traits for The Sims 3. <laughs> I'm going to my, I gotta go look at my own gameplay rules sometimes because I forget. In our AS settings, there's my gameplay rules. Okay, let me just look at my traits real quick. My gameplay rules for The Sims 3 are like the least, I have like the least amount of rules. I probably need to update this. Okay, when they're a teen, she inherits from the father. So let's see, what are John's traits? All right, I'm gonna roll one through five. We're gonna see what her trait is. I rolled a four, one, two, three, four. So she's good, she's not perceptive, she's good. This is another reason why I don't like to miss their teen birthdays is because I like to choose the trait for them. So I'm gonna take her back. There might be an easier way to do this, but I'm taking her back into creative sim to change the trait. I think there's an easier way to do that, but I'm just going to do this now because I don't want to look for it. I'm just jamming to the music here. Okay, let's change her from perceptive. No, that's stupid. You are getting good. 
EFG. She's good, lucky, artistic, and family oriented. All right, there we go. Shift click and hit edit traits. Okay, I'll do that next time. On a beach. <laughs> you do that too, Mary. <laughs> She does have really good traits. She's a good she's a good girl. No, I don't watch Big Brother. I don't watch reality TV. Although last night I watched the worst show I've ever seen in my life. Ever. I mean, the absolute bottom of the barrel, trashiest, worst thing I've ever seen on TV. Thank you so much for the follow Grim Death. And let me save so we can do so I can take care of these requests. But tell me if you guys have ever seen this show. It's on the Travel Channel. It's called The Dead Files. Tell me if you've ever seen this, okay? It is the stupidest, dumbest, both most worthless show I have ever laid my eyes upon. I was so mad. I was about ready to like throw the remote at the TV. Oh my God. It is so awful. You've seen it, Weird Days? Thank you for the follow, Adeline. Oh man, it's so bad. Bye, Hula Zombie. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well, you know what? I suggest that if you ever see it, it's on the Travel Channel. If you ever see it, just watch it. Just watch like five minutes of it. Okay, that's all it's gonna take. That's all it's gonna take. Okay, I'm going to the Discord to find a meme, and we also have a commercial break. So let me go find a meme. I know there were some good memes in there today. I scrolled through a little bit, and there were some good ones in here, you guys. So let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. I gotta scroll all the way back up. I know you guys love watching me scroll. Okay, there's the cat. We saw that. <laughs> oh, here's a flex tape one. <laughs> I think we've seen one similar to this before. But Mary Sue and Daniel's relationship, anything. <laughs> <laughs> Flex tape can't fix that. That's right. That's right. I feel like we've seen that we've seen a variation of that before. That feeling you get when opening The Sims 2. Oh, I gotta make this big. <laughs> I love that. Oh wait, let's play it again. Let's play it again. love that so much <laughs> i love that that is so good thank you uh marta thank you okay we're only supposed to do one meme but i just keep going i think that every man in edgewood <laughs> is for me no no it's not athena no it's not <laughs> athena when she was a kid oh god okay so let me find a commercial now thank you guys for the memes those are good ones <laughs> <laughs> the original horse girl. <laughs> Let me find a commercial for us to watch. Okay, that one got an X on it. I just opened up to an X. Let me go. Let me scroll up. All right. What is this? Gangnam Style Pistachios Super Bowl commercial from 2013. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess we'll watch this. Oh, then, we, then I see a, another flex seal. Oh, which one shall we watch? Oh, I guess we're gonna have to watch both. I can't decide, so we're gonna watch both. Car wrecks suck. Yes, they do, man on the ad. Yes, they do. Car wrecks suck. All right, here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, sorry, guys. I gotta play a couple seconds of this ad here, but I'm gonna mute it. I'm gonna mute it. We're gonna support this creator. I'm star. Man, I love Gundam pistachios. Crack, 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 crack Gundam star. They have no money. I didn't even notice. Break your nuts now. Crack, 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 crack. Pistachios. This just crack makes me want to eat pistachios. <laughs> Side does it. Man, we all go nuts. Crack, crack, I like the crack, pistachios crack, with the pantyhose. Yeah. Get cracking. Oh wait, how long is this? Cracking Gundam Star. Gundam Star. Crack, 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 crack. <laughs> cracking Gundam Star. I don't know what it is about their little legs, but it just cracks me up. Crack, 
I have no idea who that is. I don't I do not get this at all, but um, I like the dancing pistachios. Wonderful pistachios. Get cracking. Oh, he's riding it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, in 2013, I was extremely out of the loop on pop culture, so yeah. Okay, let's see. And then we're gonna watch Phil, we're gonna watch another Phil Swift, y'all. I gotta watch this one too. Hi, Phil Swift here for hey, Flex Seal. The easy way to coat, seal, <laughs> and stop leaks fast. And now there's Flex Seal Liquid. The super thick rubber that you liquid. can pour right into oh, cracks I want the to liquid. stop water dead in its tracks. You oh. can brush or roll on large areas for a watertight seal. Even dip all yeah, your I got tools the poops. for a tough, no-slip grip. Flex Seal starts out not as a Bexy, thick Libby. liquid Sorry. and turns into a super <laughs> strong, flexible rubber. Oh, dip I want to just sink my teeth into that. To create a watertight seal that lasts for years. This rubberized coating prevents rust rubber. and corrosion in extreme heat or cold. Flex Seal Liquid on. keeps its hold. Unlike thin paints, Thank Flex you. Seal Liquid is super it's thick tar. and creates a flexible barrier that's completely waterproof. Weird flex, it's but like okay. a handyman in a can. Flex Seal Liquid is safe can. around Where's plants and boat? animals, so Where's we use this to seal this if you fish pond. Fix a boat now with this, any I'm project very big or small, with Flex Seal, you can do them all. To show you the incredible sealing is it power a boat? of Flex Seal Liquid, is it, we it's made a this boat? entire airboat out of screen <laughs> and covered boat. it in Flex Seal Liquid. <laughs> After a day on the water, flying it's through a, alligator it's a infested airboat. swamps, Multiple Flex Seal's watertight barrier takes a beating. <laughs> Stay strong and flexible. There's no way in heck I would go out there. Is completely dry. I just want to say, I just want to say, there's no way I would go out there in that alligator infested water in an airboat that was supported by freaking flex seal liquid ever in my life. Yahoo! Oh, dip or pour. He's like Mario. Imagine everything you could do with flex seal liquid. Oh my god, that look on his face is so. I don't know, Phil. I don't know. There's something off about you. There's something off. <laughs> I don't trust it. <laughs> oh my god, those are funny. <laughs> yeah, get a, a dip your mask in that. <laughs> oh my god, they have zero simoleons. You're absolutely right. Buy a planter bowl. That's a stupid one. Um, buy a lettuce. See, because John probably hasn't been tending to his garden out here. John, have you been tending your garden? Where even are you? Come home. Come home, John. You come home. Everybody get home. Where's Falcon? Oh my god, Falcon's at the park. Falcon's bald, y'all. We haven't even looked at this kid. Hold on, I'm gonna take him into create a sim too. Let's see, I didn't create a sim. We need to give him some hair. Thank you so much for the follow, Sharky Sharky. Nope, he doesn't collect. I don't let my sims collect unless they're collectors. Otherwise, it's too cheaty. They just have to be broke. So here's Falcon. I mean, it's something. Let's give him some hair, for God's sake. Give the poor child some hair. Okay, now he looks like John Burb's son. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I I just eat this. <laughs> Put some flex seal on his head. That's what we need to do. Just dip the baby in flex seal. <laughs> no, that's terrible. Don't dip babies in flex seal, okay? Don't do it. Don't do that. <laughs> he is a mini John. He is. Okay, John, you better take your baby home. I sent John home, but I hope he gets the kid. Are, no, John, don't leave the kid here. Oh my God, no. Get the child. Get the child. <sighs> Stay here. What is wrong with you? Don't leave your kid here. <laughs> John Jr. There we go. Um, I use... Um, I gotta think of the name of the eyes. I use uh, Bruno's Behind These Eyes... Max, I use Bruno's Behind These Eyes 
converted for The Sims 3. Are you going to pick up this child? There's a link down below the stream of my, uh, what I, or no, there's not. I don't have my Sims 3 links down there. So you can find it on my blog. Yes, I know Lucy has reached her teen years. We missed it. Now go home, John. Go home with the child in your arms. They're by, um, Burnt Waffles. The eyes I use are by Burnt Waffles. They're called Behind These Eyes. And they're converted from The Sims 2 to The Sims 3. I hope that was clearer. Oh, he's just right across the street. Duh. All right, are we home? No, you don't live there. Never mind. You don't live there. <laughs> you live over here. <laughs> Your dad left you in the park? Really? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, John's out here fending for himself. Oh my god, John, you take so long to walk home. Why are you taking so long? Walk faster! Okay, so yeah, they they have nothing. They have nothing. I feel so bad. I'm going to try to make them a little bit of money before we leave. Let's see. Age up, Lucy Burb. Age up. Bo broke! No, Bo broke! Aged up! What? Oh my god, y'all. We're missing everything. Okay, no more winging it. I've got to do a spreadsheet because I'm missing everything. Okay, so that's all we got. John, put the baby down. We're going to have to go check out Bo. Oh, Your father dumped you in Flex Steel. I, how come I don't believe you? How come I don't believe you? And how, do, how long do we have? Okay, we have 32 Wanna days. Drink, really get you going when warms you up when you feel your slow wind. Wendy's, we always serve it right away. Have a smile and have a nice day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the follow, Jay Gons Gold. <laughs> it's I love hot drinks, y'all. I love it. At first I thought it was funny, and now I just like genuinely love it. <laughs> okay, John, what am I doing? I wanted to check everybody's ages. Okay, this kid still has 13 days, so we're good on this family. I just need to go around and check everybody. Um, not you. You come out here and... What, we can't harvest that? We can't harvest that? Do you have anything in your inventory? Oh my god, he's got a, a bunch of stuff in his inventory! Okay, first of all... What is this? Apple? At, we have two apple trees, so we can sell all apples. Cauliflower, okra tomato tomato mushroom okay so we've got other stuff we can plant here plant plant we're gonna i'm gonna plant all this stuff so he can at least get this going i think that was a lime tree we'll plant that there grapes spinach heck yeah wolf's bane whatever we can just sell that and uncommon seed which he can't plant yet okay let's have him do this at least i want to get a i'm gonna make a grocery store in pleasant view that's not a rabbit hole is what i want to do i thought about making a video about that teach oh he wants to teach lucy to drive and he wants to get a okay we can't buy a stroller so that's just out you can probably see lucy graduate though Oh my god, Mary Sue and Dawn! And we still haven't got a pop-up that Mary Sue's pregnant yet. But I know she is. Do you dare have another hot drink? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Are you cold? Do you need to be warmed up? Do you feel like you're slowing? <laughs> I like cocoa and coffee. That's it. Those are the... Oh, and I like hot... I like a hot cider, too. Like a hot cider. Like a mold wine. And yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I drink hot. I like a hot sake. A nice sake is good oh hot. I don't like hot tea. I don't like hot tea either. Yeah. Okay. Good for you, John. Don Lothario's nosy neighbor. Oh, I don't care. Just tell me when somebody gets pregnant. Um, can we water these or tend to these or anything? No, they're all they're all just good. Okay. Well, I can't do anything about you guys making money. But you know what I might do? I might just... Let me see. When does Jennifer go to work? Nope, she's off. They're just broke, y'all. They're just broke. <laughs> I don't think there's anything we can do about it. 
Um, okay, so we're not having a birthday party, unfortunately. Um, you can teach Lucy to drive and see Lucy graduate, I guess. And what do you want to do? Work at home. I don't think they have a computer. She has no way to work at home. They have, like, nothing. They own nothing. I'm just glad Jennifer isn't prego again. Because, I mean, they, they this family is poor, y'all. This family is broke. <laughs> they are broke broke. Lucy did want to get a job. Um, so, yeah, we could have her find a job, I guess. Is there? Do they have a newspaper anywhere? Anywhere? Oh, I guess we don't have... Oh, you don't have to do that in The Sims 3. What the heck am I thinking? But she's too tired now. She's going to go to sleep. And you know what? We'll have her find a job in the morning. We'll just go ahead and play this family through the night. Because there's nothing going on at the Pleasants. Like, they're not going to give birth yet. And then I want to head over to the Broke family. So we can see Bo and make sure we set his trait and everything. Um, like that. Yeah. No, I don't think he, I don't know if he's going to get a trait or not. What did he age up to? A child? Yeah, I think he does get a trait. With twins? No. Oh my god. Mary Sue could have twins, y'all. I had Dawn and Mary Sue. Woohoo last stream. Oh my god, Livy. I didn't remember that. Okay, well, it's Dawn's baby then, y'all. She's pregnant by Dawn. <laughs> we are at the broke family the broke broke family the brokes have more money than the burbs that's pretty sad that's pretty sad i knew that baby was gonna be dawn's y'all i knew it okay let me save and then we'll just speed through the night here i'll keep an eye on the baby the strut oh yes the strut yes now i remember mary sue's having dawn's baby olia <laughs> Mary Sue's having Dawn's baby. We still haven't got a notice that she's pregnant. I bet we're going to get it at the 3 a.m. When we get our 3 a.m. notices. Can't believe it. It sounds like a horror movie. Pregnant by Dawn. And then, oh yeah, and Mary Sue, I mean, Daniel and Brandy. Oh God, these Sims. I don't know what to say. All right, you need to go to sleep. You need to go to sleep. Just go to bed. Uh, maybe we can work on his garden tomorrow some more. And she needs to go to bed, too. Everybody go to bed. And the kid, we'll just keep our eye on the baby until he wakes up. Everybody can sleep. It's crazy drama. Okay, yes. Arm in arm. Celebrity skills. Achievement. Georgia broke. Don't you dare mess with her outfit. Oh my god, Dawn and Mary Sue broke up, y'all! Dawn and Mary Sue broke up! <gasps> Wait, what do you have? Chat with Mary Sue? Dawn and Mary Sue broke up and then Mary Sue called Jennifer. Oh my god, I bet you she told him she thinks she's pregnant and he's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Alright, that's that. I'm waiting to see if we got... Look at all these pop-ups for them. I wanted to, I thought she was, we were going to get a notice that she was prego, but not, nope. Okay, well, let's keep watching. Keep watching for it. It doesn't surprise me at all. Dawn's going through everybody in town. <laughs> okay, unroutable sim. I don't care if you're unroutable, Daniel. Oh, oh, it just, it's Orlando Sintowski's unpopularity. Don't care. Brandy Broke and Daniel Pleasant continue to be a couple. Still nothing about Mary Sue's pregnancy, y'all. Still nothing. <laughs> That's exactly what happened, Shadowfire. <laughs> it is so confusing. I can't keep up with who's with who, who's having whose baby. It's craziness. <laughs> Don Lothario was over at Mary Sue. Oh, that, you know what? That might be, you might be right about that, Livy. You might be right. Okay, what does this say? Don Lothario was over at Mary Sue Pleasant's home recently on his hands and knees begging for money. Mary Sue gave him 1,300 simoleons. They only had like three grand. Mary Sue, why would you give Don money when you're the one who's going to have his baby? He's just going to end up giving it all. Oh my God. This is so stupid and I hate it. <laughs> why would you do that? Why would you do that? He is playing her. He is playing her. Oh my god, Mary Sue. You gave her, you gave him half of your family's money. And he just dumped you. She's trying to buy him back. She is. She is. <laughs> She's trying to buy him back. Oh my.
my god, y'all. That's... That's really something. He probably did blackmail her. He probably did. Okay, well, Lucy's Lucy's up. Um, no, Lucy, just leave your brother alone, okay? Let's get you some food, and you're, you gotta go out and find a job today. Let's clean out the bad food. I'm gonna have Lucy go out and find a job today so she can help support the family a little bit since she's not pregnant. Um, I, yeah, we can check the weather, I guess. All right, the little one is up, and he needs some food. So, first of all, can we not give him a bottle if he's in the crib? A uh, feed on floor. And then get yourself some food. Lucy's already sister mom and y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Nope, I'm not giving her the money back. That was her choice. That was her choice to make that stupid decision. So now she has to deal with it. <laughs> I know Cassandra and Dawn were engaged. Oh, this whole thing, this whole situation. I just don't know what's going on with these Sims. Yeah, she's pregnant with her her best friend's ex fiance's baby. She is. Okay, let's serve some breakfast. Let's serve some PB and J, I guess, because that's all the groceries you guys have. Aw, she wants to pick up her brother. And then once you once she eats, we're gonna send her over to get some get some a job. Get a job. And then after that, I want to head over to the broke family. Okay, you're, that's good enough. Where where should she get a job? What's closest to her house? That's what I'm going to choose. And I don't want it to be like one of those extra jobs that I have. If she, I think she can get a part-time job at the theater. Okay, let's just do that. It's like, it's within walking distance and she doesn't know how to drive. So you could just walk down here to the theater. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, Brandy's pregnant by Daniel Pleasant. <laughs> Brandy's pregnant by Daniel Pleasant. <laughs> oh, God, no. Why? Why, Daniel? Why would you get Brandy pregnant? Oh, jeez, Louise. These are, th these are some pairings that I have never had in my game. I have never, ever had Daniel and Brandy or Mary Sue and Dawn have babies, ever. And we have got some weird, ba we have got some weird combinations. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. The family tree, I know. So Daniel and I don't. I can't even. I can't even wrap my mind around it. I can't even wrap my mind around it. I don't even know. Daniel could move in with Brandy. Elena, that's a great idea. I think he's gonna move in with Brandy to get out because once Mary Sue, Mary Sue reveals that she's pregnant by Dawn, and Daniel's like, "Well, I'm having a baby with Brandy," and Mary Sue's gonna be like, "Then you can just go move in with her, can't you?" You can just get out of my house and just go move in with your lover then. <laughs> Unexpected pregnancy, Daniel and Brandy. Um, okay, breakup, Dawn and Mary Sue. And I think that's all the interesting stuff that happened. Oh God, this is so weird. It's gonna be half siblings with its niece's mom. I can't, that makes my head explode. <laughs> that makes my head explode. I don't, I can't even fathom that. <laughs> oh my god okay so right now one thing at a time y'all right now lucy's gonna go find a job we are definitely gonna move daniel in with brandy because i don't like my sims living together after they're divorced i don't feel like it's very realistic most people do not still live together after they're divorced you know i see children of the corn all over the streets um so we're oh yeah we're going to the movie theater we're going to the movie theater as soon as she gets done with the dishes Sims 2 and 3 are so good. They really are. Both, they're both different. What was that sound? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, they're trying for baby! They're trying for baby! <laughs> John and Jennifer freaking trying for baby up there! Oh my god! <laughs> you did! Why are you doing this? You have zero simoleons! You have no money. <laughs> she wants to have a child with John. All right. Well, you're going to get your wish. You're going to get your wish here. 
And does he want to have a child? Not really, but he's like, okay, I guess. She's the one who wants to have the child this time. Oh, good God. This family cannot afford another child. Lucy's got, they're, they're having to send their poor teenage daughter. Lucy, are you not freezing to death? It's snowing outside and she's running around in this romper. <laughs> long, long, man. No, you are not going to Egypt. Um, we will accept career for 20 bucks an hour. She makes more than her parents. I gotta figure, I gotta change the, the pay, but that's okay. That's okay. She'll take 20 bucks an hour. She needs that money. And then we'll have her go back home. Oh my God, y'all. So we have to remember that Jennifer is most likely prego. So I'm going to write this down. Um, Jennifer, probably pregnant. Probs, pre probs, pregante. That's what I'm writing in my spreadsheet. <laughs> and so that's what we'll be doing probably next. Right now, we have a couple other things that we have to take care of. She had the baby. I thought I had the baby chime off. How come, how would I, he how come I heard it? Maybe I don't have it off. Okay, so she's definitely pregnant. I don't think I should have heard that. Okay, Jennifer Pregante. All right. Um, so, hey, Danny, welcome. You guys heard the baby chime? I, okay, so that's what that sound was. Because I swear I have that turned off, but apparently it played. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the baby shall sleep on the floor. Yeah, because they have zero simoleons. I don't know what they're thinking. Okay, so she's pregnant, but right now, the next thing we're going to do, um, as soon as Lucy gets back home, is we're going to head over to the Broke family so I can check on Bo since he aged up. And then I guess we'll head back to the Pleasants and wait for Angela's baby to be born. No, we're not traveling to Egypt. We have zero simoleons. <laughs> John's getting sick. Okay, at least we don't have the horrible sickness in The Sims 3. Okay, so I'm going to save right here. Maybe Lucy working can help the family a little bit. God knows they need the money. Oh, I just saved for you, Kayla. <laughs> they might have to put it up for adoption. They probably won't. I'm hoping they'll have some more money by the time we get back, back to them next. So many babies. What about Lilith? Lilith's not pregnant right now. She already had her baby. What was How baby is thing? Baby formed? How girl get pregnant? <laughs> How is Baby formed? Lilith, where are you? Um, Eric. Oh, and he aged up too. Yeah, Lilith had her baby Eric. I know it's so hard to keep up with. Lilith had her baby Eric, who has also aged up. Yeah, Angela is pregnant again right now. Okay, um, Betty has aged up. We already looked at her. But let's go check out Bo, since he aged up to a child. I'm so sorry that we're missing these birthdays, and I promise I'm going to organize better for the next stream so we're not going to miss any more. Um, let's go to make active. Okay, and let's see how everybody's doing. So Brandy, okay, Brandy got pregnant first. Like, barely. Barely. So Brandy is pregante. And then Jennifer got Pregante, like, right after Brandy. I'm writing this down so I'll remember what we need to do. And Mary Sue is pregnant, yes. But we're that's we're going to do that today. Um, Brandy and Jennifer's pregnancies we probably won't get to. And she wants to get married. Oh, my God. She wants to get married. Um, oh, no. She... Oh, no. Okay, ex-boyfriends... Okay, she's still boy. Daniel is still her boyfriend. Oh my god, these Sims. It's like freaking the days of our lives. So she I guess she found out that Dawn cheated on her, so she broke up with Dawn. All right. That happened a while ago. And but now her boyfriend is Daniel. Daniel got her pregnant. Daniel's about to move into the trailer with her. Oh god. It's like really hard to keep up with what's going on because these Sims are crazy. 
And so where is Dustin? Let's press play. Let's find out where everybody is. Okay. Um, Dustin is doing good. Let's check ages. So we have 10 days for Dustin. Brandy's got a while. Bo's got a while. And Betty's got 10 days. Okay, so we're good on this. But little Bo has aged up to a child. And he's wearing probably the stupidest thing I've ever seen besides Lucy's outfit. So let's take him into Create a Sim. Change up his clothes. And then we'll pretty much be done with this family. We'll go back to the Pleasants. Move Daniel in with Brandy. <laughs> then wait on our two Pleasant babies. Yeah, We're going to have three babies in Mary Sue and Angela's house. Crazy. He got them Mary Janes. His Mary Janes and his tiny little shorts. <laughs> he is cute though. Yeah, he is. He does have eyebrows. You just can't see them. But he has them. I swear they're there. Let's let's give him like some it's winter time so I really kind of like want to give him some jeans. <laughs> I don't know what his third trait is, but we're going to we're going to figure that out in a minute. Okay, I'm going to give him some jeans and I'm going to give him some different shoes, okay? Cuz it's winter time outside. I'm going to give him some little some little tin I'm going to give him these. Yeah, I'm going to give him that. That's cute. Now, let me give him some socks. For his poor little feetsies will get cold. That's Brandy's child. That's Brandy's daughter with Skip that she's pregnant with when you start the game. That's Betty. That's little Betty broke. Okay. Um, this is your formal wear. Seriously, at least put on a tie. Dang. Put on some slacks. There you go. Put on some dress shoes. I don't know what the heck you were wearing. There. That's good enough. I don't care that much about children's clothes. I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> he would wear cowboy boots. Yeah, he probably would. I hate this shirt. I hate this thing. I never let my kids wear that. Ever. What is this? Sleepwear? Um, okay, there you go. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> we need to put him in ballet school. He usually likes music and dance. Um, oh, this is athletic? No, no, no. Here, wear that. Wear that. Get your little chain. This I like this outfit, but I hate the chain on it. Why would you have a chain on that? I don't... I don't get that. What is that? What does that mean? Give you some regular shoes. Okay, let's give you a swimwear. That's fine. I hate these flippers, too. I never let people wear those. 2010 fashion. Okay, no. 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 The, sh the pants have to go. Let's give you these pants back. Um, and the gloves have to go, too. We'll give you... Give you some red gloves. And your shoes. That's fine. I don't... I don't care. I don't care. You're a child, and I don't care. We'll give you these. Be some sockies. I know they age out of it so fast. It's just like whatever. But I like to give them some, you know, something. None of these reds match. I can't stand it. I gotta fix it. I'm sorry. I can't stand the reds not matching. <laughs> really? You think it loads fast? I think it loads so slow. I can't stand it. Like it's taken way too long. Okay. Yeah, that's good. It's taken way too long. And then we'll do this red down here. Okay, that's better. That's better! And I think that'll be good for him. Oh, let's check his traits. Let's see what trait he got. So, he was already a virtuoso. He got Night Owl. Um, what do I usually do for children? Inherit from the mother. Okay, so we're gonna... We're, we're not gonna give him Night Owl. We're gonna give him... We're gonna give him a trait can't talk. We're going to give him a trait inherited from Brandy. Dag, dag. The gloves aren't fingerless. He's not following the trends. <laughs> He's not following the trends. Okay, so Brandy's traits here. I'm going to roll one through five. And then we're going to find out which trait he is going to inherit from Brandy. I rolled four again. Heavy sleeper. Okay, um, so I'm shift clicking and I just have edit sim and create a sim. I don't have edit traits. 
Do I have to have testing cheats on? Oh, thank you so much for the follow bull bullocore. Do I have testing cheats on? I don't know. Test what the heck is the testing cheats? What's the testing cheats cheat in The Sims 3? Testing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's just testing cheat. Oh, testing cheats enabled true. No, that's not it. I thought it was just testing cheats on. Oh, you have to be on, on your sim? Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, night out. So what did I say he was getting? I forgot. Heavy sleeper. Heavy sleeper. Okay, so now he's a genius. He's a virtuoso and he is a heavy sleeper, y'all. Okay, so I guess that's all I really wanted to do here. Everybody seems to be doing fine. Oh, we're going to need another bed, though. Since he doesn't use a crib anymore. Oh my god, they have zero simoleons too. I don't think this is going to buy a bed either. How much is a bed? We're going to have to sell some of Brandy's crap. No, we can buy the we can buy this cot, cot for him. <laughs> we can buy this cot. Okay. Um, I'm so sorry that you have to sleep in this cot. I don't even know where to put it. We got nowhere to put this. Bunch of hallway babies. I'm gonna have to move this over here and we'll move this right here. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. I, they can't afford a bunk bed. All they can afford is that. How much are bunk beds? 450? Oh heck no, they can't afford that. <laughs> they can't afford that. Um, so let's change. He seems to like the color orange, so I wanna change his bedding here. Let's see if we can find something. Orange-ish. Orange. Um, let me go to themed. I, I want to give him the cowboy. The cowboy bed. Okay, that's not it. You guys know what I'm talking about? There's like a cowboy. I think he could also take like the camo too. Oh, there's like an orange camo. That's what we're going to give him. That camo? Kind of? Kind of? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Just get the sleeping bag. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so that's good. That's fine. He can sleep there. He has a place. That's got to be the most uncomfortable bed either ever. It's like a prison cot. Oh, Daniel Pleasant paid. The court ordered child support owed by Daniel Pleasant was paid promptly. Okay, well I didn't get any child support. Did we get child support? Oh, I guess we did. I guess we did. All right, that's helpful. And let's go ahead and save here. So Daniel, when Daniel moves in here, he's going to be bringing in the big money to the broke household because he makes like 900 simoleons a day. But that's also leaving Mary Sue without much income at all. She makes like 10 bucks an hour. Um, she's got the whole house and she's got to pay bills on that whole house too. So I think Angela's probably going to have to get a job to help support her children and but for both of them living in that house. They'll be able to afford so many marshmallows. 900 marshmallows. <laughs> okay, let me save. I, oh, did I just now save? I just saved and then I just saved again. <laughs> 60 marshmallows for Brandy. That's what I do. 900 marshmallows a day. <laughs> You shall, your, your fount of marshmallows runneth over. I'm going to yank my earbuds out. Um, I don't, I think I passed my kidney stone. I'm not sure. It doesn't hurt anymore. So I think I got, I think it came out. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it doesn't hurt. A save. <laughs> you want me to save again, Bexy? Okay, guys, we gotta save again. I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. It's out of my hands. <laughs> yeah, I would like for Daniel to live alone, but he doesn't have any money. So his only option is to move in with Brandy or keep living with his ex-wife. So right now he's gonna move in with Brandy. We'll see what happens. 
we'll see what happens between these two. If they break up, then he's gonna have to go. And I don't know where he's gonna go. <laughs> Let's head... Oh, I don't know why I keep doing that. Let's head at, back to the Pleasants. Where's their house? <coughs> oh. I don't know what that was. I need a drink. Yeah, there's really no options because they have no money. So here are the Pleasants. We're back over here. We're going to make them the active family. Georgia cannot be left alone. Okay, well, we're going home. Who left her alone? Who left the baby alone? Mary Sue. Okay, why are you guys standing out in a field? Yep, Mary Sue's prego, y'all. She's definitely pregante. And so is Angela. She's pregnant at the same time as her mom. Is that weird? That seems weird. <laughs> okay, he could, but I would only let him move in with the oldies if he did it on his own because I don't think they would welcome him with open arms. All right, we're going to send these two home. Daniel, what the heck are you doing? Isn't today your game day? Today is his game day. How do I know when he has to go to a game? Does it tell us? Join Pee Wee League. Okay, yeah. I think it tells us. I don't remember. Okay, but we're gonna send these two home. Daniel, you need to you need to go home so you can move out. You need to go home so you can move out. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. The poor baby's home all alone. <laughs> yeah, his performance is really bad. He could he can't move in with Jennifer because they have no room. Dina Goth invited Abjit over. Okay, whatever. Okay, Daniel, um, how do you move out in this game? Let's see. Real estate. Move within this neighborhood. Okay, Daniel's moving. Is that going to move the whole family? Let's see. Yeah, today is his game day. You got to do the split from worldview. Oh, you can do it this way. You can do it this way. We'll make, we're will make we not going to make him the new active household. Let's see. Can we move him into... Oh, yeah, I guess we do. I guess we do have to do it that way. Because he can't move into... Um, He can't move into a house with somebody already living in it this way. Okay, we got to go do it from Edit World or whatever. We got to go to Edit, edit Town. But if I kick him out, then he'll be homeless and he'll probably get cold or something. Thank you for the follow, Paula. So let's do um, split. Hold on. Merge with, evict, split up household. We're going to move Daniel Pleasant out on his own. He's taken 435 simoleons with him. We're going to move him to clipboard. And then we're going to, as soon as this is done, we're going to move him in with Brandy. <laughs> all right brandy where are you where are you there she is move him in so we're gonna merge merge with right merge with daniel yeah no yes okay so i did it somehow i did it somehow thank you for the follow p chan all right he's moving in with them He's moving in with the brogues. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, Brandy is having Daniel's baby. And Daniel is moving in with her because he he and Mary Sue got divorced. And now Mary Sue's like, you got to get the heck out because Mary Sue is having Don Lothario's baby. That's what my Sims did. That's what my Sims did. <laughs> yep. Return to game. <clears throat> discontinue this is what they did this is what they chose to do with themselves so now he lives over there and uh, we're back here waiting for angela and mary sue both to give birth to their babies you want to 
read a pregnancy book. I think we have a pregnancy book in this house somewhere. Um, I think we do. Read. Somebody, no, she gave it to Dustin. She gave it to Dustin. All right, Mary Sue, why don't you head, you know what, I'm gonna send Mary Sue to the bookstore and also she needs to get some groceries too. Local klepto Dustin broke, stole something from somebody, Cassandra. Let's go to the bookstore. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just moving on from that. Let's go to the bookstore, shop for books, and then let's go to the grocery store and shop for groceries. Angela can stay back and take care of the kid. I don't know what kind of groceries we need, but maybe we can shop by recipe. All right, Mary Sue, where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're still at home. There we go. We're gonna follow her. We're gonna go to town with her. Mary Sue, stop it. Stop it, you gotta go. I do love this mod that makes them autonomously teach uh, skills to the toddlers. Does that mean so like many of my toddlers actually get taught their skills? Would you stop it? Why is it taking you so long to disengage? Falcon Burb just had their outfit adjusted by Dresser. I'm sure they did. I'm getting real sick of Dresser putting everyone in, in fingerless gloves. Yeah, that's true. I could make a make that into a nursery over there, but I but we now we have Lilith's room. We have Lilith's room that we can make for the nursery for like all three of the babies. I need to go check on Darren too, because I bet his inventory is just filled with expensive paintings at this point. All right, Mary Sue, this is her pregnancy outfit. That's what she's wearing. Shorts and pantyhose, like old fashioned pantyhose and high heels. That's what she's wearing. Um, let's see here. Where's our baby book? Where's our baby book? Something about being preggers? I feel like it's like way far down here. I like the music that plays. Where's the pregnancy book? Oh, am I? Lo I'm looking at. Yeah, I'm looking at general. Did I pass it? Where are you? Totally preggers. Got it. Got it. Found. I don't think reading pregnancy books increases the chance of twins. No. I don't think so. If you click the pacifier, it just takes you to the kids' books. I'm pretty sure. Shop by recipe. Okay, let's get some stuff for grilled cheese, PB&J, tofu sandwiches, pancakes, black bean tacos. I won't spend too much. Uh, waffles? I'm trying not to spend more than $55. Greek salad. Okay. And we can't forget marshmallows. <laughs> Four. <laughs> there we go. 55 bucks. All right. <laughs> okay. So now we're going home. What are you doing with your face? Oh. Oh, Mary Sue. Her tongue looks like a burnt sausage. I got a save game. Okay. <laughs> you got a screen. You want a screenshot of that? Okay, we'll do a screenshot. <laughs> She's eating snow. Four marshmallows have gone crazy. <laughs> Tongues are gross. I agree. <laughs> no, we haven't had a meme or commercial break uh, since earlier. Okay, yeah, we gotta get a screenshot of this. I mean, I, that's as close as I can get. <laughs> that's a funny one. I post that one in the Discord. <laughs> okay, so we're sending her home now. You can go home now. I wish I could see how long Angela had until she was gonna give birth, but she's definitely getting bigger. And now she's teaching Georgia how to uh walk and now kaylin is cleaning mary sue's house wow she just don't look right <laughs> oh we got a commercial break okay 
Okay, so I'm gonna try to find us a commercial here. What do we have? Oh man, I can't watch Slap Chop. We've watched it before and it, it, it gets copyrighted. So, but yeah, Slap Chop is hilarious. I'm gonna poop on it because I can't watch it. <laughs> this is what I do, I poop on you. Doodle Bear, I remember Doodle Bear. I remember Doodle Bear. What's your face, doll? Let's watch Doodle Bear. 1996. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. Anybody? Were you guys even alive in 1996? All right, here we go. 1996 was was a, a good year for me. I was in my prime teenage years in 1996. <laughs> you, you had one of these Doodle Bears? Yeah, well, I'm the Doodle Bear. I come with pens for writing on. I like the uh, child friendly rockabilly we got going on. I'm the doodle bear. I love to doodle and doodle and doodle. When there's no room for something new, I'm the washing machine and come out nice and clean because I'm the doodle bear. Doodle bear comes in. I don't know. I probably would have wanted this when I was a kid. But now it looks pretty dumb. <laughs> but I probably would have wanted it when I was a kid. <laughs> Let me see what else. I know we only got one commercial, but we'll watch one more. Because sometimes I don't feel like I got enough entertainment, so I need to watch another one. <laughs> Let me see. I want to find something different. Okay, can't watch that one. That's questionable. Um... Who gives a crap? Okay, this looks funny. It has crap in the name. We're gonna watch this one. Did you know that- Who gives a crap? Good for your bum, great for the world. That sounds good. It's got poop. It's 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 got poop in it, so. <laughs> Very boring after two washes. All right, here we go. Did you know that 27,000 trees are cut down every day just to make regular toilet paper? Unnecessary. I gotta, wa I I gotta wipe my butt. 100% recycled paper. Look at your delicious jewels. Not that you would eat them, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, I like the plastic-free packaging. Recycled. No plastic here. Good for your bum and great for the world. Isn't that the truth? Now oh, I'm no, sold. Now I want this toilet That's paper. Right. I'll use it to crap later. I'm so excited that this is at my house because <laughs> people come over and they say, hey, that's some funny toilet paper. And I say, it's not funny. It's doing good for the world. But there's nothing <laughs> funny about that. Because I like we're this. We're saving trees. We're building toilets. And this is toilet paper that I get behind, that my behind gets behind. Does it that's shed? I'm always that's carrying what I need to know. with me when I go to the bathroom. Just kidding. It's already in here. You can order Who Gives a Crap today to get 48 rolls delivered straight to your door. Shipping is free most rolls, orders. Dang. Just click the buy now button to get now started. I, now I kind of want that. Now I kind of want it. Oh, it's not over. Who gives a crap? Who gives a crap? <laughs> Who gives a crap? I do. We're building toilets, saving trees for the birds <laughs> and the bees. Who gives a crap? That's me when Sims I doesn't do. work out. <laughs> yes, I would do that. I would shill Who Gives a Crap. <laughs> I would. I like the plastic free packaging though. I like that. It's good. Have you tried it? It does look thin, but I, I'm still using a case of toilet paper that we got from Costco or like from Sam's Club in March. And it is like, it was like the only toilet paper we could get. Remember when everybody ran out of toilet paper? So we had a friend who had, or like somebody that Mr. Pleasant worked with had a Sam's membership and they got like a shipment in and she got us a box and we are still using that freaking box but it is the crappiest toilet paper ever it's like that thin you have to use like a whole bunch of it because it's like really thin but I mean it was better than no TP <laughs> it's what I think it's two ply though I think it's two ply one ply I can't even imagine one ply is like what they have in the bathroom at Disney World and airports <laughs> okay, see you later. Thanks for taking 125 simoleons from us. Charge way too much. You gotta make do. You gotta make do sometimes. I know. 
It's like, I don't want to buy any more until we use what we have, but it's not terrible, but it's not my favorite. My favorite toilet paper is Cottonelle. I like, I like Cottonelle the best. It's soft, but it doesn't shed all over the place. Yeah, I d if I check how far along she is, I'll also see what, like, how many babies and what the sex, so I don't want to do that. I could donate it, but, you know, I just donate it to myself. <laughs> Disney World toilet paper is absolutely atrocious. I cannot believe how bad it is. I don't like Charmin because it sheds too much for me. Uh, Georgia Broke has taken quite a liking to her stupid imaginary friends. I know she has. I know and I don't care. Okay, what are these two? We need to check on their needs and stuff. What do you want to do? Eat spaghetti and eat grilled cheese. Oh, we have to, we have to put the food in the fridge. Stock with all ingredients. Let's see if we can make grilled cheese. No. We cannot. We can make waffles, PB&J, and greens, and herb sauce, and Greek salad. So sorry, Angela. Oh my god, scrunch? No. Fold. Who scrunches? You heathens. Who would scrunch? It's just, it's just... Unbelievable. It's just unthinkable. <laughs> you scrunch. Oh, no. That just seems so... Just, no. It's not good. Don't scrunch. Don't scrunch it. It's just all over the place. <laughs> you gotta fold. <laughs> okay, what's happening here? Angela's dancing. She wants to have eight friends. Like, I don't want to get... Oh, you know what? We could have Mary Sue teach her how to drive right now. In the snow. In the snow. Why not? We'll have a babysitter come. They're just they're just spending their money like there's no tomorrow. Uh, how can we do this? Do we have to pull the car out? Okay, maybe we can't. I mean, they have a car... Can I just ask her? Thank you so much for the follow, Kitty Pepper. Oh, we got it. We have a meme time too. We'll do that in just a sec. Ask help learning to drive. Let's ask help learning to drive. If you fold and then it gets scrunched, it's okay. But if you start out scrunching, that is just that's just the worst thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> stand when they wipe <laughs> who stands to wipe don't do that <laughs> that's, just, that's awful who would do that don't do that if you stand to wipe just hang your head in shame don't tell us and stop it <laughs> georgia cannot okay we're gonna call a babysitter you're, you scrunch and stand <laughs> You scrunch and stand. No. How could you? <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Alex. I didn't forget the meme. We're going to do the meme, too, in just a sec. Oh. God. Hey, there's Dirk. <laughs> Slide your hands in the bowl. No. You just sort of, like, lift up a little bit. <laughs> Oh my god. It's barbaric! <laughs> you might as well just wipe with some hay! <laughs> How deep is your toilet? <laughs> um, Bridgie, you just click on that link right there. Thank you, Olya. You just click on that link right there to join the Discord that Olya just put in. <laughs> Oh my god. See, I don't oh, I don't know if I want to I don't know if I want to see that, Sabrina. It it tells you who's pregnant, who the father is, how many hours the pregnancy has progressed. But does it tell you the gender and stuff of the baby because I don't want to see that. Formal dance is happening soon. 
It should not be on Wednesday. No. I have my dan I should have my dances set to Saturday only. Friday and Saturday only. I don't know if she's going to be going to the formal dance. She's prego. She's pregante. She doesn't want to go to the dance either. See, I don't want to, then I don't want to do it if it tells you the gender, because I don't want to know the gender. When she gets back to the house, we're going to do the meme, I promise. You had to wipe with hay on a camping trip? I've had to wipe with a leaf in my day. I've done it. I've done it. It's not fun. I hate camping. I despise it. I don't want to camp. I'll glamp, but I'm not camping. I don't want to be out in the wilderness. I mean, I like be I like nature. I like being out in the wilderness, but you better have a very comfortable cabin for me to go back to. <laughs> Eric has just learned to walk and it better have a shower and some sort of internet. <laughs> I have never used a squat toilet. I am like, I would be so afraid to do that. I don't know if I could do it. Aw, oh, look, it's Falcon outside, and Jennifer's playing her piano in the front yard. I didn't say I was camping when I had to use the leaf. <laughs> I wasn't camping. <laughs> I was at, probably at some sort of drunken redneck woods party. Okay, uh, you can go home now, Angela, I think. Let me check on Mary Sue. Heck no, I was out in the woods. I wouldn't wipe with a leaf if I didn't have to. <laughs> oh man, porta potty I would rather squat on the side of the road than use a porta potty. They smell so bad. The stank. <laughs> it's good for your legs. <laughs> I grew up in the south in the woods living on dirt roads I've peed outside many a time I've pooped a couple of times <laughs> I've wiped with a leaf for both number one and number two in my lifetime <laughs> I've used an outhouse too. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I didn't say I was proud of it. I didn't say I enjoyed it. I just said I had to do it. <laughs> I know poison ivy and poison oak very well. It, when you grow up in the woods, you learn poison ivy and poison oak at a very young age. <laughs> Yeah, those nasty concert porta potties. Ooh. I don't know. We got on poop. We got on poop instead of food. The opposite end of the spectrum. <laughs> okay, come on, Angela. You're taking so long. Let's hurry up. We got a meme to watch. I'm gonna speed the I'm gonna speed through this a little bit. The subway in your city doesn't have bathrooms? Oh yeah, because the homeless people. We have, like, our city library has a public bathroom, but you can't go in it. You cannot go in it because it's just always got homeless, homeless people in it. And it's a little bit scary. I think she's going to learn to drive, like, today. Man, the baby's not doing good. Georgia's not doing good because the babysitter's not doing their job. Mary Sue's getting hungry, too. But I'm hoping I can get her all the way up to level three. Okay, whatever. Before we turn around and go back, they're getting hungry. I, I can pee in public. I don't like to poop in public bathrooms, though. It's, I get too nervous about it. Oh, night crawlers. That's bad. Is she just going back and forth on the bridge? Okay, they're too hungry. They gotta go. <laughs> okay, go home. Go home. I'm sorry. I know you're hungry. Go home and we'll feed you. You've been practicing. Okay, Angela's going to take a cab. All right, that's cool. <laughs>
Okay, the foreboding full moon begins its mystical ascent to the night sky. What are you doing? Did you stop at the bar? You can't stop at the bar, Angel. No, 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 no. Go home. She was going to go in there and order some hot wings. She's like, I can't even take it. <laughs> go home. Go home, please. Thank you for not helping at all, babysitter, and charging us 75 simoleons. Hey, we've got exactly a thousand simoleons. I hated learning to drive. I hate to drive now. Yeah, she wants some fun. Or she wants she wants some hunger and, and sleep. Is She wants some hunger. She wants some food. <laughs> she wants some hunger. I want to be hungry. I hope Mary Sue's in here taking care of the baby. Let's eat some leftover salad. Still got hot wings in there. Uh, Mary Sue put the baby down, but the baby is hungry. Okay, Mary Sue, let's feed. Why did her hair change? Feed on floor. Dorm bathrooms are foul. I never lived in dorms, but I imagine they are. Um, Mr. Pleasant did live in the dorms when he went to when he went to college, and he said it was disgusting. Oh, Dina, <laughs> Dina looking like yeah. Hannah Montana. Yeah, her hair went back. I guess we didn't change her hair for all outfits. <laughs> I couldn't. I don't think I could have lived in a dorm. I can't live around other people like that. I can't even live in an apartment. Like, I want to live in the city so bad, but I don't think I could stand living in an apartment. I can't even share walls with people. I just spit. there's wings at home angela i know i know she was trying to stop and order more wings uh what are you doing mary sue eating stew surprise where'd you get stew surprise who the heck made stew surprise okay so angela once you get done i know you're tired but you need to put you need to put your baby down hold on we're gonna have her put the baby down she almost learned to drive guys she only needs like a little bit longer we're gonna put Georgia in the crib, then Angela's gonna go to sleep. And then Mary Sue is gonna do the same after she eats her stew surprise. She's gonna go to bed. Our house, our house is like really close to our neighbors. We live in a in like a suburban area where the houses are really close to each other. But I don't mind that because like we still have our own space. You know, we still have our own walls, our own building. It's still like our own, even though it is close to the other houses. I just can't like have the same wall as somebody else because their stupid noises just bother me so much. I gotta have my own building. Even if it's a shack, I gotta have my own building. <laughs> you don't hear your neighbors? Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. I think maybe, I think it probably depends on the building that you live in. I'm afraid to take the chance because Mr. Pleasant and I have lived in a couple of different apartments since we got married and every time it's been just awful. Our neighbors have been terrible. It's been terrible. Okay, Mary, so you don't have to wash that dish. You've got a maid coming. Just go to sleep. No, no, no. Go to sleep. Poor Mary Sue. I don't care about that. Um, yeah, she and Dawn broke up with each other, and now she's having Dawn's baby. I don't know what she's going to... She's probably going to be single. Pretty much. Wow, she hates that guy. She hates Robin Banks. She's probably going to be single for the rest of her life. I don't know. No, Darren, I think... Is Darren seeing Nina still? Darren just improved his writing skill to level nine. Dang, Darren. Yeah, we had the last, not the last apartment that we lived in, but the one before that. We had our neighbors got in such a bad fight that we had to call the police. And he was over there like saying he was going to kill her and stuff. We could hear them like screaming at each other. And she was screaming she was going to kill herself and stuff. So, uh. Daniel Pleasant and Nina Caliente have been head hitting it off. Wow. Daniel and Nina are seeing each other. Okay. And we had to call the police. And then the police came and arrested the guy. And he had like a gun in there. 
And so shortly after that, we moved out. We were like, okay, this is it. We are out of here. We are getting out of here. And the police came and like, we couldn't leave our apartment. It was like on Labor Day or something. We were supposed to go to a barbecue, but we couldn't leave our apartment. The cops wouldn't let anybody out. It was, we, we were like, we're finding a new place to go after this. No, it wasn't even the ghetto. It wasn't even the ghetto. It wasn't even the ghetto. It was like a nicer area. Okay, let's see. Friendly visitor, klepto, new flirt. So now, da so Daniel just moves in with Brandy, and then he starts cheating on Brandy with Nina Caliente the minute he moves in with her. Oh my God, Daniel! I just, I just can't believe you. Or I can believe you. That's not true. I can't believe you. <laughs> Oh my god, I love spoons. That's rough. You heard your neighbors screaming at each other. If you're not sure, just call the cops, you know? That's what I say. It's better that... I mean, they should be screaming at the top of their lungs like that if they don't want somebody to call the cops on them. One of the girls was choking the other girl outside. Jeez, what is wrong with people? Oh. <sighs> I know he and Dawn just need to be roommates. I know and they can just go through all the women in town. Okay, let's speed through this. Oh, the baby's coming. Oh, the baby's coming. I wasn't expecting it. Okay, so this is little baby Olya, y'all. This is little baby Olya. Her water just broke while she was in bed. We're going to get Mary Sue up. Brandy has, Brandy has paid off her tax loan now that De uh, Daniel moved in, too. Okay, we're going to wake up Mary Sue and have Mary Sue take her to the hospital. Twin, don't you dare curse me with twins. You know I hate twins. Why are you wearing... Okay, there you go. Put on your pregnancy dress. Put on your pregnancy dress. Why do you keep... What is she doing? She just keeps changing into the same outfit. Okay, here's Mary Sue. We're gonna be going for you soon, Mary Sue. We might, I think we can have, I think we're gonna have both of them today. We still have half, over half an hour left in the stream, so. I care for Kaylin. I like Kaylin. She just hasn't been a part of the story yet. Oh my God, why are you changing into your swimwear? What the heck is happening? Thank you for the follow, Maya. Uh, okay, call babysitter. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know. I don't know what that was. They're just changing into their swimsuits. <laughs> whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, she's going to have her baby in her swimwear. <laughs> Mary Sue's in her formal, I think. All right, just get inside, okay? Just get inside. You're you're crazy. <laughs> I know Marsha Brunig needs to be aged up. You know what? Let's just age her up real quick. Oh, and she's going to get all creepy looking too. Hold on. Let me do this, guys. Since she's right here. Um, Where's age? Intermediate? Tell me if you see it. Age? I don't think this is it. Let's just take her into creative sim and do it. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt the, the birth. Let's do it like this because I'm worried. I don't want to do it the other way. Trigger age transition doesn't work usually on these stuck children. I've tried it before and it doesn't seem to work on them. They still just stand there and I end up having to take them into create a sim and age them up anyway. So I'm just going to do that now. So adorable. Oh, hello. Oh, Marsha, you're pretty cute, actually. You're pretty cute. Like, I don't care what you wear, really. So, that's fine. I don't really care what you wear. What Does she have a trait? Um, bookworm, neat. Okay, I just... What if I just want to randomize that one? Bookworm, shy, neat. No! <laughs> no! Bookworm, shy, neat, and good sense of humor. That's the one I'll keep. I hate how you can't just randomize one. Neat. And shy. 
Okay, there you go. Now you're yourself again. All right, go back out into the world. Go back out into the world. Yeah, she's she's really cute. She's really good looking in The Sims 2 also. Oh yeah. <laughs> so remember when this happened in my in my Let's Play guys? This is This is so creepy. This is how it happens. <laughs> um yeah. <laughs> y'all come on now that's cute that's cute <laughs> look at her little stumpy legs screenshot screenshot okay i gotta get the whole thing in here i gotta get the whole thing in <laughs> oh sorry i forgot the meme i'm sorry we'll do the meme too i'm sorry oh you guys are talking about making a meme you can make a meme out of this yes but we also have to do a meme that i forgot to do Oh my god. Oh my god, now let's get a screenshot of this. There we go. I hope that it makes this the thumbnail. Whenever I play this back on YouTube, I hope that this is the thumbnail. <laughs> the Sims 3 has the best glitches. Seriously, it does. Okay, watch if we press play. She's gonna stand there. Yeah, we're gonna have to reset her is what we're gonna have to do. Oh no, oh no! Oh, okay, she closed her mouth. Invite over. She had her mouth open. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, she just, she grew up. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, there she goes. All right, Marsha, you're good. See you later. We're going to have to do that to all these children. Because they're all going to be stuck on the side of the road if we don't. I don't understand why. This happens. <laughs> no, that's not Olya. <laughs> All right. Well, while we're while we're waiting on the baby to be born, I'll look for a meme. I'll look for a meme in here. Let's see. <laughs> There's some funny ones in here. I'm cackling at. Uh, which one do I want to show? Which one do I want to show? So many, so many. Oh, here I am. Here's where I am. Okay, here's the meme. Cindy, get real. Her Sims. <laughs> now that's realistic. Okay, taking an outdoor shower while your alien baby plays in the outdoor toilet. There's nothing more realistic than that. Oh, we got a commercial break too. Okay, all right, we'll do a commercial break too. Let me find a commercial. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> what do we have here? Okay, that one's a no, that one's a question. Um, I'll come back to that because I gotta read the story. Let me see, let me see. Oh, we got another flex seal. Okay, I gotta watch Fle I gotta watch the flex seal. I'm sorry. I'm I'm hooked on flex seal. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, hooked on the flex seal. Let me say. Let me pause the game, and then let me mute this ad. I can't get enough of the flex seal. <laughs> Toddlers can play in the toilet, but not kids. Oh, flex seal. I Phil Swift here from Phil Swift Seal Colors, the colorful way to coat, seal, and stop leaks fast. Flex Seal <laughs> Colors have the same sealing power so as the original. So what is this? Oh, it's a spray. Now in vibrant colors that can, can transform spray it. and protect No, that was Billy anything. Mays who died. Unlike paint, Flex this Seal guy Colors may have died too, but... dries to a watertight, flexible, rubberized coating. Yeah, Just that's Billy shot, Mays. fills cracks and holes, stopping the toughest leaks while oh, remaining man, completely flexible. Oh man, it makes me want flexible. it so bad. I just it's wanna... actually liquid rubber oh, I wanna spray in bold, it on beautiful stuff. colors. Ideal for arts and crafts. Arts and Sealing crafts. Sealing outdoor decorative items. Even projects and hobbies. Forget thin, Projects and hobbies? Things. Count me in. Rubberized formula <laughs> I want to eat it too, Mike. I want to eat To show you the incredible <laughs> strength of Flex Seal, we took this old pickup truck, coated it in Flex Seal I colors. I want to flap it in. I want to eat it. it. 
into the Flex Seal submarine. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Red, blue, and green. It's the coolest sub this you've is ever so seen. No. And the inside is completely dry. That does oh, not Phil look safe. That what is not safe, at? Phil. We that is not safe. Everything you see here. <laughs> Imagine what you could do with Flex Seal colors. Go from dingy and old oh to God. colorful and bold. No. Get Flex Seal colors for just $19.99. No. But wait, That's how he we're going to double your order and send you two cans. <laughs> Plus, we'll include a handy can of Flex Shot. The Flex easy Shot. Way to caulk, bond, and seal. You Flex get Shot. two cans of Flex Seal colors and a handy can of Flex Shot. All for just a $19. handy can. You're going to love Flex Seal Flex colors. Flex Seal your love. Here's how to order. <laughs> Yeah, that's BS. Look, they had to send some divers down there to get to retrieve the truck. That ain't safe. I don't believe it. That's the that's the dumbest Presenting one yet. Home that is the dumbest one yet. Oh my god, our baby! Our baby! Oh no, that's safe. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was the baby pop-up. I don't know if it works. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna find out very soon, Olya. Any second now, any second now, the baby's gonna be born. Nina Caliente and Daniel Pleasant seem willing to give it a try and have decided to go steady. Daniel, you two-time and dirty dog. It's a boy! <laughs> it's a boy, it's little Ollie! It's little Ollie. Congratulations on a new baby boy. Angela's pregnancy went well, and she and the baby made it through smoothly. The baby's been born with the athletic traits, and you will get to choose his second traits. Aww, it's little Ollie. <laughs> okay, here we go. His second trait is heavy sleeper. He's athletic and a heavy sleeper. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Ollivander. <laughs> nope, it's not twins. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. It's just a little baby boy. And Mary Sue just became a uh, grandmother. Okay, let's see what the baby looks like. Come here, let me see that baby. Let me see that baby. I think he's blonde. I think it looks like he has blonde hair. We'll see him better when they get back home. Come on, Mar Mary Sue just changed into her swimsuit again. Oh my god, why are you changing? Little Ollie broke. Is our kid here? <laughs> so I have to remember that he was born. Okay. What is taking them so long to leave? Get oh, ripped. Oh, Dustin was here. <laughs> Get ripped. She just got ripped, didn't she? <laughs> oh, little Ollie was born. Okay. I wrote that down so I don't forget. So Mary Sue's baby is going to be a P name. Hopefully we can get to it today. We still have 23 minutes left in the stream. I think we can do it if we don't mess around too much. Okay, so we got to buy another crib too. And you know what? We'll start moving the kids into Lilith's old room. So what we can do is sell the stuff in here. And that gives us quite a bit of money, extra money to work with. I wonder if I can move this with the baby in it. Nope. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put two cribs in here and we can remodel it later. I just wanna make sure they have a place to sleep. We'll put, we'll put them right here next to each other. All three kids are gonna have to sleep in here. <laughs> All right, and now we can have Angela. Um, she has a girl and a boy now. Oh, I love it. Nina Caliente and Daniel Pleasant. Even though Daniel just moved in with Brandy, D Daniel is doing Brandy so wrong, y'all. So wrong. Okay, yeah, it looks like he has blonde hair. Okay, so she's got two blonde kids. She didn't get a redhead. Let's give a bottle. Let's snuggle. And let's play. Can we play with? And then we'll put him in the crib. We'll put little Ollie in the crib. What does she want to do? Throw a house party? She wants to throw a party. I know the baby was smiling. <laughs> you always make Mary Sue get pregnant by Dawn. I have never had that happen. I have never had that happen. Um, I don't know what friend she lost. That's a good question. Her kid, maybe? I don't know. Her dad? Um, I don't really know. 
it was probably she probably lost a friend just because the relationship decayed you know your cassandra kept daniel around in her house while he went out cheating on her oh that's too bad the nursery looks like a dungeon <laughs> i know i know it does we're gonna remodel it but i want to spend too much time on that now because i want to make sure that we get uh, through to mary sue's baby we're having a baby explosion here okay so now angela needs to go get some rest i'm gonna get her to go to the bathroom and then she's gonna go ahead and go get some sleep tonight and then mary sue let's check in on mary sue she's over here she's in here talking to daniel uh, dustin oh man dustin you need to meet your kid but or i think he knows his kid he must have met him at the hospital actually yeah, he knows his dad. So he met, I like in The Sims 3 how they know their parents. So I don't have to do all that finagling. So why don't you tell Dustin that it's time to go home? Ask to leave. Like, yes, Dustin, thank you. Thank you for your donation to the Pleasant household. Now you can leave. <laughs> Mary Sue's gonna go, also go to the bathroom and then go to sleep. They're gonna, everybody in the house is gonna get some sleep. I know it. They're having so many babies. It's insane. Brandy Letourneau just can't seem to find time anymore for her friend Daniel Pleasant. Yeah. Daniel can't, more like Daniel can't find time for her. Oh, Nina, Nina and D Daniel are already getting in a fight. They're already on the, on the rocks. Trouble could be brewing. Oh God. That doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, it is kind of creepy. It is. Oh, what are you doing awake, Angela? Are you already rested? Oh, she's got to go to school. <laughs> she's got to go to school. And does Mary Sue have to go to work today? Or is she on maternity leave? I don't know. Okay. Um, why don't you get something to eat, Angela? Get something to eat. Angela is still trying her best. I know you like those hot wings. Go get you some hot wings for breakfast. <laughs> Angela's trying her best to stay in school and raise her two children. Okay, now Nina and Daniel still seem to be doing okay. I know, I'm really surprised Nina has not had a baby yet. Is she's the only one? Oh, she did have, did she have a baby? Second cousin Eugenia has said a special thing. Pay the bills. Darren Dreamer gave Nina 27 simoleons. Oh my God. She didn't have a baby. Nina hasn't had a baby, I don't think. I wanted Nina and Daniel. Nina and Daniel still might have a baby. They still might. Okay, Angela's heading to school. That is your, what are you wearing? Why are you, what in the heck is that? I don't know what she's wearing, y'all. I don't know what that was. Okay, Georgia. Oh, no. Mary Sue, wake up. You got to come take care of your grandkid. Mary Sue's left alone with the babies. Um, change dirty diaper. And then she'll be fine. Let's get some toy. Do we have a toy up here? Let me get the toy up here. And the potty. Let's see if we can keep the kids upstairs. I got a potty. I don't know where the toy. I guess we don't have any toys. That's pretty sad. Let's get the potty in here. And I guess we're gonna have to get a toy. I feel kind of bad. They don't have any toys. We'll put some here, one here and one here. We'll try to keep the kids up upstairs. <laughs> Ollie's your favorite, Sam. <laughs> I bet so, will ya. I can't wait to see what he's gonna look like when he ages up. Hey, Lyheart. <laughs> Okay, come on, Mary Sue. Take care of that baby. What do you mean John Burb was supposed to be at work? Isn't he a gardener? He shouldn't have another job. Okay, we're gonna have to check on that. All right, what are you doing, Mary Sue? Where are you take? Oh, you feet in the high chair. Oh, God. Okay. I guess. Flowers in the attic, babies. No. No. Never. That's a really good book though. It's bizarre, but it's really good. I know I never, the only reason they have a high chair is because somebody wanted to buy one. Otherwise I don't buy them. 
It's annoying. Especially if you're like trying to keep a kid in a in a nursery. I don't mind them in the Sims 2. But I usually don't buy them unless one of my Sims wants to. Did she never read that pregnancy book either? We gotta get her to read that. Let's let the baby out. Okay, she can't let the baby Oh, that's because I had the baby selected. Um, uh, okay, we can't. Let Georgia out. After she finishes eating, we're gonna let the baby out. We're gonna take the baby upstairs. No, no, no. We're gonna take the baby upstairs. Put the baby in here. Come on. Do what I want you to do. Take her upstairs. Very good. Answer your phone. Answer your phone. Answer your phone. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll have to force you to do it. You buy them for aesthetic purposes only? Dina would like to chat. Okay, I guess. Are they even friends? Um, I don't even see. Oh, there she. Oh, yeah, they are friends. Huh. Oh, my God. Is she friends with Sandy Broody? She's like best friends with. She's good friends with Sandy Broody. We should have been inviting Sandy Broody to some of our parties. I like high chairs in The Sims 4, too. I, uh, I have a mod that... I don't remember what mod it is, but I know I have a mod that helps with them. Some kind of fix mod that I think I got off of... God, I don't know. There's, there's a mod out there, that's all I'm saying. Fix boiler at the school before time runs out. Simoleons? Yeah, I guess we'll do it. Okay, baby's crying. Baby's crying. Um, you're gonna have to get off the phone now and take care of this child. Let's see, she needs hygiene, social, and hunger. So change dirty diaper, um, snuggle, give bottle, play with. There we go. I like the toddlers in The Sims 4. I really do. Um, and I like the toddlers in The Sims 2, and I like the toddler- I like the toddlers in all the games, and The Sims 3. <laughs> She's gonna try and fix that boiler. She needs some money. You just plop some grilled cheese down and let them at it. <laughs> okay, and then put Ollie back at the crib. We're just waiting on you, Mary Sue. We're just waiting on you to give birth, which should be, like, really should be any time now. She must have gotten pregnant, like, right after Angela did. God, this maid is killing us. I don't know why the the price didn't change when I tried to change it and retune her. Okay, what are you doing with this kid? Teach to walk. Aw, okay. If you, that's what you want to do, that's fine. You need to read your pregnancy book, though. I don't think she's going to get it read. Yeah, I wish you, I kind of wish you could teach him to walk, but also I kind of like how they do it in The Sims 4. She just Georgia just learned to walk. Angela's class will be taking a field trip. Yeah, that's fine. Give monologue at community. Why would I want to give monologue for no reward? No, thank you. Okay, well the kid can walk. No, no, no! Don't you, don't you, you stop it! You leave her up here. No, leave her up here. And then you go downstairs and read your book. Read your pregnancy book. And, oh, Angela's home. Okay, Angela's home, so now she can take over. All right, go fix... Oh, she's so tired. She can't fix the boiler today. She's too tired, so she's going to go to sleep. And we're going to need her to rest for when Mary Sue goes into labor. All right, Mary Sue, what are you doing? Okay, she's reading. She's sitting in here and reading. Oh, this will be a good time to move the other crib over. We got three crib. We're gonna have three cribs in a row here. <laughs> Mary Sue and Angela went on a baby making spree. <laughs> um, I do not think wonderful whims will conflict with either of those. A uh, slice of life, and I know it doesn't conflict with MC Command Center. Slice of, slice of life, I don't know, but I don't think so. Mary Sue was paid 60 simoleons. Oh my god, she makes hardly anything. Uh, 
Uh, thank you so much for the follow, Valerie. Thank you. Oh, I got a screenshot 10 minutes ago. I'm sorry I missed it. We'll do a screenshot again. And I got a save game two minutes ago. Okay, let's save. It works great with MC Command Center. Yeah, you have to pretty much check all your mods after any new update for The Sims 4. It really sucks, but... I mean, you had to do the same thing with The Sims 3 whenever it w packs were coming out. It's just the nature of it. Okay, back to it. Back to it. We're gonna keep our... Uh-oh, kid needs something. The kid needs something. Darren Dreamer was mucho creeped out when he caught former lover Cassandra Goth hanging around outside his house. Oh my god, Cassandra. She's always stalking. She's always stalking. Let me see if anything happens. Daniel and Nina got partnered and that's it. Okay, somebody's got to wake up and take care of this kid. Mary Sue? Um, change dirty diaper? We need to pot we need to work on her potty training brandy letourneau and dina goth have been drifting apart i don't care no cassandra i don't think cassandra's with anybody right now no she's dated both dawn and darren and didn't work they she broke up with both of them or they broke up i don't know who broke up with who okay so put the kid down go to the bathroom and finish reading your book Mary Sue really should be going into labor like any minute now. Any minute now. Any second now. Any time now. I'm ready for this baby. <laughs> um, Brandy was pr Brandy was pregnant first, and then Jennifer. Jennifer got Jennifer and John tried for a baby like right after we got the notification that Brandy was prego. So what, once Brandy gives birth, we will have to like immediately switch over to Jennifer if we want to be there. Okay, this kid needs something too, Mary Sue. What does it need? Social hunger. Oh, God, babies. They need so much. They're so needy. Jeez. <laughs> Give bottle. No, I've never, I don't ever make my Sims do anything, but John has never cheated on Jennifer in any of my games. No, they've always been loyal to each other. Neither of them have ever cheated. Baby Barracks. <laughs> Pal has become a very special toy for Georgia Broke. Pal is its name. Pal. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna clean the toilet. You're exhausted and pregnant. You're gonna clean the toilet. The turlet. Let's go, Mary Sue. Let's go. I want this baby. You're taking too long. I'm gonna send her to bed now. And then we're just gonna speed through until somebody needs something or she goes into labor. <laughs> I won't give her a break. Oh, man. Ollie. Ollie, what do you need now? Okay, Angel is gonna have to deal with you this time. I think he's probably. What's wrong with him? Oh, he needs his diaper changed. Go change your baby's diaper. I'm coming! I'm coming! Oh my gosh, I'm coming. Local mooch Nina Caliente was begging from Herb and he didn't give her any money. No, 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 don't take the baby. Okay, that's fine. Put the baby in the crib. And then go eat your leftover mac and cheese. She was trying to eat mac and cheese. Okay, let's have you get your leftover mac and cheese. There we go. I was actually thinking I like the baby cries in The Sims 3 better than the ones in The Sims 2. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Pal was the name of Arthur's dog? Really? I don't remember that. I believe you. But I don't remember the name of the dog. Oh, that is some gross-looking macaroni. Wow, Cassandra is still stalking uh, Darren, unfortunately. Oh, these children! Good God! Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Feet on floor. 
Saturday stream. Saturday's our special Halloween stream. Oh my God, Alexander aged up, y'all. Crap. Alexander reached his teen years, so we're gonna have to go deal with that too. I'm gonna write that down. Um, Alexander aged to teen. Aged to teen. And next time I'm gonna have, I'm gonna make up a spreadsheet for us. I just gotta do it. I just gotta make the time to do it. I'm not giving you a hint on my costume. But I know you're gonna like it. That's the only hint I'll give you. It's a, it's a surprise. I know you're gonna like it. <laughs> the young Republican. Um, only a few more days until spooky day. In our spooky day stream, we're gonna play Strange Town and we're gonna be playing Ophelia. And then if we get done playing Ophelia, we might do some trick or treating in The Sims 3. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. The hints that it's a costume. <laughs> it's a costume and it's Sims related. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> a little family bonding never hurt. Okay. That's true, I guess. You hate the alien voices in The Sims 4? I don't mind them. They don't bother me that much. What does this kid want? Oh, a sleepy, sleepy child. All right, Angel, Angela's like down there trying to do her homework at like 11 o'clock at night after she just had a baby. Like she's trying so hard. Okay, let's potty train this kid. I'm gonna go back up here and potty train the kid. I'm really surprised that Mary Sue hasn't gone into labor yet. Snowflake day will- Oh, the baby's coming! Oh, the baby's coming! Okay, Mary- Angela's gonna stay here and watch these two, and Mary Sue's just gotta go by herself. Hopefully Dawn will meet her there. Um, go to hospital. Come on, Mary Sue. You can do it! She's coming, y'all! I hope you put your names in. We're on the letter P. P as in pelvis. <laughs> P as in hot pelvis. Okay, go to the hospital. You stop to make your bed when you're in labor. You lunatic. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I gotta pull up the name. I gotta pull up the name generator. Um, Because this one we're actually gonna get to choose. Which I like. I'm really excited about that. Okay, here we go. Come on, Mary Sue. I hope Dawn comes. I mean, for God's sake, he works at the hospital, right? <laughs> so he should really be there. Let's watch for him and see if he comes. Come on, Dawn. Come on. I don't see him. Maybe he's already in there, though. He could already be in there. Let's hope. Or he just totally... No, there he Come is. Come on, there find is. your pelvis. I know you've got one, and it's okay to move it, for heaven's sake. Yes. 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 Thank you for that. Thank you for that. <laughs> I think my chat's frozen. I do. I think my chat's frozen. Say something in chat, guys. Okay, I don't see anything happening in the chat. I think my chat's frozen. Darren Dreamer was recently paid 41 smillions to fix a toilet. We've got Mooch, Stalker, Alex aged up. Okay. Oh, I just see, okay, I just saw something, but that's a long time ago. I think my chat's been frozen for a little bit. That's so weird. I can't, if you guys are saying anything, I can't see it. The last thing I see is they're so annoyingly high pitched. <laughs> that's the last thing I see. I don't know what to do. Well, I'll just talk to you. I'll just chat with you. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying to me. Okay, let's speed this up. Come on, Mary Sue. You can do this. You can do this, honey. Oh, it's a boy. We got another boy. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to pull up the name generator here. And we're going to find ourselves a boy name that starts with the letter P as in pelvis. Okay, here we go. Roll the pacifier. Pine? That's not a name. Pine? Okay, no, I'm not using that name. I, that doesn't sound like a name. Thank you so much for the follow, Rim. 
that's what, what kind of name is that a, is that like a name in a different language like pine or something <laughs> i don't know what that is i veto that name we're trying again pierre pierre pleasant hmm <laughs> or no pierre lothario <laughs> i love it it's pierre I, I was hoping it was Pierre Pleasant, but it's going to be Pierre Lothario. Pierre Lothario. Oh, I see chat's back. I see chat back. It says welcome to the chat room, and now I see you guys chat again. Yay. Pierre. It's a tree, Mary. <laughs> Pierre Lothario. Okay. Mary Sue's pregnancy went so well, you will be able to choose two traits for him. Okay. Pierre Lothario. And his traits are, brum, drum roll, here we go. Brave and easily impressed. All right, we got a firefighter on our hands. <laughs> Yay, nope, it was only, oh my God, it's freaking twins. What, it's twins. It's twins. Oh my God, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want twins. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Oh, she wants to get married! Holy crap, she wants to get married to Dawn, y'all. Pierre. Oh no, it's not twins! It's not twins! It's not twins! <laughs> it's not, it's not! I ripped out my headphones! It's not twins! <laughs> I forgot about Ollie! <laughs> oh no, no! I saw two babies, y'all! I saw two babies! I thought we had twins! I forgot about Ollie! <laughs> it's not twins. It's not twins. Yes. False twins. False alarm. False alarm. False alarm. You've been robbed. <laughs> no twins. I saw the two babies and I freaked out, but I forgot we had Ollie. And she wants to get married. Oh my God, y'all. I know the stream's over, but we got to do this right now. Hold on. I'm going to ask him to marry her and see what he says. I must. I must do it. Okay, hold on. Um, she's starving to death. Cuddle the baby. Uh, snuggle the baby. Put the baby in the crib, and then you're gonna propose to Dawn right here and right now. <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry. I forgot Ollie. Why? Well, I, I, I don't know why I wasn't expecting him to be on the panel over there. I just saw two babies and I freaked. <laughs> I know. I'm so glad we don't have twins, because, oh my god, then we'd have four toddlers and babies in this household oh geez dawn you get over here right now they broke up well i don't care she wants to get married <laughs> she wants to get married let's ask him she's gonna ask him and just see okay even though they broke up he maybe she's thinking that he's gonna change his mind after he she has his baby so she's gonna ask him he was there for her the relationship is strong um, okay, hold on. Let's just go flirt with them. See if we can get some romance going. Hold on. Let's get her something to eat real quick first. Just hurry up and eat some stew surprise. I know you like stew surprise. H hurry before Dawn leaves, Mary Sue. Hurry. Hurry. <gasps> Pierre. Okay, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up and eat. We can't let Dawn leave. We can't let Dawn leave. Okay, Daniel Pleasant and Nina Caliente have been seen at each other's throats. Okay, so go and flirt with him. Hurry before he leaves. Before he leaves. Oh no, Dawn can see Mary's. Oh no, okay, I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. Um, Can we apologize or something? Or like, do a flirtatious joke? He's really tired, too. Dang it. No, I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to cheat. Okay, I don't think it's going to work, y'all. I don't think Dawn's interested. I think Dawn dumped her. Now she wants to get married. I don't know who she's going to get married to. I don't know who. She... <sighs> you know what? I wish there was a mod. Tell me if you guys know of a mod like this. That makes it so the online dating also includes townies and like NPCs. Because then she could do online dating to try to find somebody. But right now it's only going to be 
like Dawn and Daniel and Darren on there. Yeah, there's Darren. There's Darren. Oh, there's a friendly apologize. Let's see. I'm not seeing it. I don't think she can do it right now. Okay, well, that's that's too bad. That's too bad. Smooth recovery. Where's smooth recovery at? Is it under friendly or is it under romantic? It's not under romantic. Friendly. Oh, there it is. There it is. Smooth recovery. Oh, it's kept from charisma. Oh, I see. Okay, let's do a smooth recovery. So sorry, so sorry. Okay, no, he's still feeling awkward. Can we do it again? Let's see. Where is it? I can't find anything in these menus. I don't think she can do it again. Okay, just, just ask about his career. <sighs> I don't know. I don't think he's gonna marry her, guys. Bye, Sammy. I always forget to raid people. Every time after I stream, I'm like, oh, I should have raided somebody. Let's see if there's anybody to raid. I don't know who to raid because nobody I'm following is on here. Let's see. Uh, nobody's playing The Sims 2. That's for sure. Nobody's playing The Sims 3 either. <laughs> who do you guys want me to raid? Um, I don't know if you guys want me to raid a sims. The thing is, there's not usually somebody who's playing. Oh, they're being flirty now. There's not usually somebody playing the sims 2 or sims 3. And I'm not sure if you guys want me to dump you in a sims 4 channel. <laughs> Aww. Oh, no, 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 no. Smooth recovery. Ah, oh, crap. You were being flirty. You were being flirty. This baby's gonna die up here. Okay, let's see if the smooth recovery works. And then we'll see. Okay, I don't know what these two are doing. Let's see. Okay, I'll we'll ra we'll raid somebody, guys. We'll raid somebody. But um first before I do, let me just wrap up the stream with my regular spiel and let me save too. I'm going to have a new video coming out tomorrow, I hope, Friday at the least. Friday, they're having the Sims 4 gameplay stream thing, so I'm probably going to watch that for Snowy Escape, and then I'll probably make a video about that, too. But I want to make, I'm going to make a Sims 2 video, too, this week, I hope. And then, there's three channels currently streaming Sims 2. Who are they, Marie? Tell me who they are, because I'm not finding it when I, when I go through the raid menu. Tell me the names of the channels, and I'll follow them so we can raid them in the future. And also, what else do I have going on? Oh yeah, don't forget to join the Discord if you're a new sub, or if you're an old sub. Don't forget to uh, join the Discord and connect your Discord with Twitch. Okay, I'm going to raid Bad Mana Potion, okay? Who's playing The Sims 2 right now. So, guys, if you want to see some more Sims 2, stick around. And, um, yeah, don't forget to join the Discord. I'm making a new bonus video for my Twitch subs and for my YouTube channel members at the shipper level and above. New bonus videos coming out on Sunday. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun, and I will see you guys on Saturday for the spe super special Halloween stream, okay? And also, we're going to choose the winner of the Spooky Sims contest then, too, and I will show you guys on stream. All right, guys, have a great rest of your week. We're going to do a raid now. Here we go. Here we go.